Bueno, bueno. My bad, bro. Like you know that that bad, you know that affects when I put the intro, in, right? Because it sounds so off. Y buenos días. Bueno, bueno. No, bueno. Welcome back to the number one podcast in the galactic universe of all trial. My name is Sal Gomez. My name is Brian. You already know. Hey. Brian. Wait, you said Brian? Damn. Give him your whole government <laughs> name. Might as well. That's weird, Fucking bro. Bitch. That's your name? I didn't know that was your you name. Bitch. Brian? Brian's your real Ray. name? Why the fuck did I say my name? <laughs> fuck! All right, <laughs> oh, my name is Rex, guys. Disclosure. <laughs> hey, beep it out. Beep it out on some funny shit. <laughs> You're not down. I'll see what's up. Zell me, zell me 20. I'll do it. I'll zell you 20. Uh, What's up, guys? I'm Hans Eskib. How you guys doing? You guys doing? It's a nice, cozy Saturday morning right now. Um, mm, Rex forgot to hit record, so uh, we got to start all over Fuck again. Show. <laughs> so I forgot to hit record. It's because I feel weird sitting over here. You know, it's, it, it messed up my mojo. So it's my fault. Yeah, it's, it's your, your fault. It's your fault actually. So it's my fault. Dude. You just you wanted to be different and want to sit over there. I want to be the main character like, with my own camera. Yeah, you want to be the main character. But anyway, uh, shout out to all the Spotify listeners, all the Apple listeners. And hopefully, you know, make sure you guys download. Get, get, give us a, those downloads. Yeah, give us a little download. Yeah. A download ODD. If you're driving on your way to work, uh, you know, I hope you hope you make it in time. Hope you have your seatbelt on. Yeah, have your seatbelt on. Um, um, what else? What else? Pet your know? dog for me. Give yeah. him a little. <laughs> You if know. you're barely waking up, a little red going rocket. to work. <laughs> red yeah, rocket. yeah. Um, also, uh, we got to give a little disclaimer announcement. Last episode, you guys weren't as happy that we cut out mm-hmm. a full call. We weren't happy about it as well, <gasps> but you know, <gasps> we're respectful. Bro, we're res- lucky. Yeah, we're respectful. We always want to, you know, you guys are opening up to us. So uh, she asked for the whole call to be taken down. And yeah, we were upset about it because it was a great call. Amazing yes. call. It was an amazing call. Best call. That's why we at least try to keep the the out like the out, like the end of it where we were talking about it. But it was a great call. I think it was like 25 minutes long. Yeah. It was <laughs> more than that. <laughs> it, it was like 28. Yeah. Good. Pushing 30. But uh I think uh it's it's not that it's like Look, it, it, it like it takes time from us because we have to edit that part out. Mm-hmm. But it's not fair to you guys because that's someone that can call that can put their yeah, number yeah, down yeah, so we yeah. can call you guys. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I think it, next time just yeah. stand on business. Stand like, on business. And also, if you guys don't want to put it like that, girl's lucky we saw the message. Yeah, yeah, we saw it. Because if we wouldn't have seen it, it would have been up. Yep. And then what? Think, she would have been mad. What if we would have kept it? You think she would have filed a lawsuit? Probably. But nah, I doubt it. I would have told her, man. Um. But uh, next time, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> uh, moving forward, we're not deleting, we're not taking out any calls because we've done this many times. Mm-hmm. And at this point, it's just not fair to you guys, yep. right? Not fair to us. It's not fair to our sponsors it's because not fair you know to Hans to they're... break his head. The editing. <laughs> Thank you, bro. Right, huh? yeah. yeah. Thank you. So uh, no hate, no. Uh, we don't feel we're not mad at you. Oh, we're pissed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pissed. I'm hot. And just, I'm uh, just kidding. Yeah, I just messing around. But, but from from moving forward, everybody who calls has to stand on business. All right. If you're not business. standing on business, you standing on on. Oh, you see that one didn't land. It went. <laughs> yeah, I, was, I was waiting for you to do something. Yeah. Something hard. That yeah. sounded that so was a hard. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking like, what's the opposite of business? Business. Standing on business. If you're not standing on business, you standing on on dick on, on unemployment. Mm. 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 It didn't rhyme, but yeah, like yeah, 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 yeah. All right, well, that's that. Everybody who calls from now on is standing on business. All right, yeah. And uh, let's get our first caller. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> let's go. Let's call her again because we already caught her. I feel like that girl. Like, imagine she went out for the first time. And now again. Now I know her. Her her man's mad. Yeah, like what the fuck? Who are you calling? Let me see. Why are they calling Why you? Why they calling you again? Your ex. Uh, what the fuck? I'd it's our sad. seventh year. What? I'd be so what the fuck? Too. Bueno, bueno, <laughs> bueno, bueno. Hi. Hey. Hi. Hey. How you doing? Great. You it's doing great good? calling you for the first time, oh right? Yeah, we didn't call you. We didn't call you before. We didn't call right? you, right? Yeah, I, didn't know, I didn't know who that was. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so, do you have time to talk to us? Yes, I do. Are you sure? I am for sure, hundred percent sure. Because it's kind I of quiet like- now. Like, I feel like you just went to like the car or something. And you're oh. leaving your man's. Nah. 
He's with his fam. He could be over there. <laughs> all right, all right. Damn. He all left right. her. But before we continue with this call, this call is sponsored by Yo, Yo Sabo. Sabo the game. Are you familiar with Yo Sabo the game? I mean, I've heard it a couple times, but Ooh, yeah. Have you you've ever played it? <laughs> no, I have not. I right, well let me t- first let me tell you about Yo Sabo. Yo Sabo the game is a Latino is a Latino owned small business. It's perfect for your summer game nights that are coming up. And you can find them on all social media platforms under Yo Sabo underscore the game. Go buy your own copy at YoSabo the game at dot com. Yes, sir. All right, let's play. I'm gonna give you one. All right, sure. Let me pick a let me pick a card for her. Here we go. Here we go. Uh I want this one. I want that I want one. Th- I want that one. <laughs> Como se dice dehydrated. Mm. That's tough. Oh shit! Yeah, like, Wait, fuck. Like, um, right now you're dehydrated. Oh no! I don't know. I don't know the word. I really is don't. It, is it de de derritado? De de ri something? Des he the des he des he derritado. Yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so hard to pronounce. Yeah, I can't pronounce that, that word. <laughs> oh yeah, right. I would have got that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but let's say let's let's go back to what you what you said. But make sure you guys go check out Yosabo the Game everywhere at Yosabo underscore the Game or get your own copy at Yosabo the Game dot com. And shout out to Carlos and Jess. So you said you're going on a trip for your seventh year anniversary with your boyfriend in late April. Any advice to what I should do on our anniversary? We are traveling to Joshua Tree. Hey. Get pregnant. No, and I'm in the pregnant scares right now, so no. Oh, no, you're expecting? No, no, no. Well, no, no, I'm just late, and I'm just like kind of scared right now. So it's, it's fun though. Hey, no, hey, but uh, no. seventh year anniversary, <laughs> seven, 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 seven. She might break up with him. Well, I know, I trip. know, I told you, early, you know, earlier, but it's. I think it's true, right? Uh-huh. The the seven year itch. The seven year itch. Have you heard of the seventh year itch? Kind of, but not really. For, for my cousin, because she, it happened to her, like, you know, that itch with her mans. Oh, on her seventh together. year? Yeah, but I guess it happens on the 10 year and the 15 year. So Damn. she's on the 13 year and she still has the itch and she's like, so it's 15. If I feel like it's still going downhill, I'm done. I was like, damn. Oh, so I she's, didn't been, know. she's been having the itch every year. But I don't understand. Yeah. I don't get it. Like, like, like. What What do you mean? Like, I, is it like because you don't find that person attractive so anymore? The sev- so what? the seventh year itch is scientifically proven. All right, this is real. Mm. That every seven years, your body uh, regenerates like its cells. Right, it creates new cells. The old cells die off. You got the new cells coming in. So you're technically a new body. Right. You didn't fuck. You didn't fuck me. You fucked the old body. When Nikki said you didn't fuck me, you fucked the old body. She was scientifically (laughs) right. Uh, Okay. She was scientifically right. I feel it. I feel it. So uh, even like with your taste buds, right? Your palate changes every. I think even every seven years. Or I forgot what it is, but yeah. So um, like the things you didn't like back then, you like now, right? Things change. Like booty. Yeah, like booty. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You never like eating booty, but now. But now, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now you eat booty. Oh yeah, eat that. Yeah. So it's every seven years. So. That's where the seventh year itch comes along because now you're in your seventh year, your relationship gets tested because mm. you're both of y'all are two different people. Mm. So it's not just one, it's both of y'all. So this is where y'all really got to stand on business where you got to be super communicative. You got, I mean, you got to communicate very well and uh, you got to show, you got to, you got to take it back to the honeymoon stage. But you question, try question, is this a new thing that with this generation that just barely started happening, the seven year itch or is it nah, like been around? It's been since the Egyptians. What the fuck? Nah, I don't, I don't know. Because <laughs> honestly, I, I think it's like a this generation thing, seven year itch. Because like the ick thing is like this, but it's this the itch. generation. It's the itch. I know, but you know what it's I mean? The, itch. the pica. The pica. Uh, how are you feeling going into the seventh year? To be honest, I have never been in a serious relationship. So that's why I'm like more like, like wow, you know? And we're high yeah. school sweethearts. So, oh, that's so cute. That. So, that's so we grew cute. together. Mm-hmm. And trust me, over the years, we've been through so much, like, losses, like, the both of each other, especially recent. But mm-hmm. to be honest, I think we help each other more. We're growing even more and more. Hopefully, we move in one day. I hope, I hope I pay for that. But who knows mm-hmm. when that will happen. No rush, you know. Hopefully by the eighth year. I mean, I feel like seven uh, years and he hasn't, I feel like you need to propose already. You he see, that's propose. what I- that's what I'm saying. Maybe he's going to do that Joshua tree. Hey. 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 Now, nah, don't put that in her head because if he doesn't, oh. he's going to get like so fucking mad. Ah, you're right. Yeah. Yeah. Have you been in Joshua tree yeah. before? 
No. It's beautiful. It's so it's so nice. Yeah. It's slept Dylan? on. People don't. Yeah. Are you guys staying in like at a cool Airbnb or what were y'all doing? Camping or what? Yeah, at Airbnb. It looks like a barn. Like literally, yeah. like it looks like a barn, but it's pretty tight inside. And it's like mm-hmm. four acres. Oh shit. I think. So I was Be like, careful for the skinwalkers. Oh, don't get me started with that. Because I thought I recently seen one in my house. I mean, oh, what the fuck? Was, Hell no. That ain't no, no skinwalker. That's a demon. No, because I seen my cat on my bed. And then I'm just like getting up, getting water in the night. And I thought I seen him in the hallway. But I went back to my room. He was still mm-hmm. in the same spot, just sleeping. Well, skinwalkers know you're gonna Joshua Bro, tree. Bro, why ready. is it always the cats? Because yesterday we we're playing with the homies too, uh, co- uh, f- uh FC, and yeah. he said the same thing about his cat. He thought he, like, his cat scared the fuck out of him. Thought it was a skinwalker. Oh yeah, cats are weird. They get weird vibes, but I love them. I love my um, <laughs> Are you guys gonna do drugs at Joshua Tree? Mm, well, question, so. I'm gonna smoke a little motita, but nice. Nah, you gotta do shrooms. Nah, do some you gotta shrooms. do ecstasy. <gasps> Oh, do some I've shrooms. done ecstasy, but I don't like we'll, it. We'll do Molly. Molly, I Mo- Molly's like the Molly. same feeling. Yeah, put a Molly up your ass, trust. It's gonna what hit the fuck? Fuck, <laughs> Come on, come on, come on! <laughs> boring. <laughs> are you gonna go in the middle of nowhere with no drugs? Yeah, the stars are beautiful. I keep forgetting thing. your mom. <laughs> <laughs> come on, me and Soul did it. <laughs> <laughs> Let your boyfriend, let your boyfriend put in your butt. Come on. Oh, I don't know. Well, I'll put it up his kidding. butt. Oh, yo. <laughs> yo. What is drawing? Just like Rags on. Huh? What? How? Huh? Just a little. He's, she's going to put the pill right there. Just <laughs> in his ass. <laughs> oh, with the thumb, huh? Just pressure it in. <laughs> um, but, Mapa, uh, for real though, I think... Um, I mean, look, you guys have been together for seven years, honestly, and I think that's that's a beautiful thing to say. Like, I've been with this person yeah. for seven years. It's like yeah. so much, so long. Uh-huh. That's like a whole fucking high school reunion, almost, right? Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> like, you guys have been together since high school, like high school sweethearts, and Super. people usually say high school sweethearts don't work out. So, how, what did you guys do differently that yeah. made it work out? Yeah. Hmm. I mean. Honestly, I just try to stay away from the negative comments, like from everyone, including my parents. Um, Anyone around us, even, you know, not his family, the, but our yeah. friends. So I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to listen. I'm doing my nice. own thing. I'm going to go with my gut. Because, you know, sometimes they give you, you know, that advice, like, oh, you shouldn't still be dating him. Like, you know, yeah, that. They get in your head. Damn, I'm just like, that's you know fucked let up. Me, let me push it in the back of my head. Mm. Because this is my relationship, not theirs. That's yeah. right. right. That's fucked up. Period. A lot of relationships end because of outside influence. Yep. Yep. Exactly. Especially nowadays, this new era. Especially mm-hmm. when I go clubbing, mm-hmm. I notice. Especially yesterday. But I mean, oh, yo, what happened yesterday? No, no, no. Chill, 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 chill. What yesterday, happened? What happened? Whoa, 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 whoa. I went to a bar with my cousin because I'm from the harbor area. The what? So, the what? The harbor area. The harbor area? So it's basically woman. La Harbor? La Hambra? Harbor. Harbor? Harbor? Harbor area. So you know where, where Long Beach it? is? It's in LA. Oh, the port. Yeah, so oh. I basically live over there. So that's what's called the harbor area. Mm. That's just so, ratchet out there. It hey, really is. Panama Joe's? Panama Joe's? Oh, no, adios is for me. Oh, no. No, no, Panama Joe's. What the? What's that? <laughs> You never been to Panama never Joe's? Been to Panama Joe's and you're from Long Beach from the harbor? No, I have never been there. That's crazy. Damn, that's that's crazy. Shot, <clears> shot, <throat> anyway. Shot. Anyways. All right, what happened yesterday? <laughs> oh, it's because uh, it's TMI. You don't have to talk but, about it. No, uh, I, I kind of remember, remember. Did you do something? <laughs> before I tell you, no, before you say no, TMI, before you say TMI, I want to let you know a uh, new disclaimer on the show is we're not cutting things out anymore. Yep. Okay. So before you get uh, TMI, I want you to know disclaimer. Okay. Stand on business. And I know you got some drinks on you, so stand on business. <laughs> okay, so let's just say there's this couple, you know, widows, and they mm. got a little too nice about me and my cousin a shot, and she's like, you know, I mean, we got them. We took them. Then tables turn. I just look at my left, and I see her kissing the girl, the guy. They're older. And mm-hmm. they're yeah. like in their fifties. 
Oh, what the yo, fuck? what freaky and, ass bitch. And then I'm just money? saying by myself because I'm like, you know, I don't want to interview with that. I'll do my thing. I would just, you know, just drink my beer. And then the, the lady, the single, the singer that came and she kept pointing at me. I was like, uh, I was like, I don't really want to like talk to you. And then she looked at my home screen. She's like, oh, who's that? I was like, oh, that's my, that's my man. And then she was like, is he a partner? And I was like, yeah. I was like, then why would I put him here? But she kept squeezing like my arm. She kept on wanting to touch me. I was like, oh, no, oh, I can't. I was like, no, no. I was like, don't touch me. I was like, why don't you go hit on my cousin? And then I seen the three of them making out. I was like, oh, I've never seen this. Like, in reality, I've only seen it, like, you know, in telenovelas and stuff like that. I was like, oh, my God. I was like, I'm watching this, like, in front of me. I was like, you do you. I was just focused on my drink, but nah. That lady, she made me feel so uncomfortable. And remind you, Crazy. she was 30 years older than me. Damn. That's so she was my mom's age. Yeah, it's like you were kissing your mom. What the fuck? Ew, oh, so, I can't do that. That's gross. Oh, like, no offense, no, no, no. whoever likes it, but ooh, I I can't. So what? Your cousin yeah. got your, yeah. your cousin yeah. was a victim, or what? She tossed. No. She got tossed. But <laughs> is this cousin the one that's also married? She's not married. But she has a boyfriend. She has a boyfriend. Yeah. That's crazy. Damn. That's crazy. Yeah. I'm gonna tell your man. But, but well, uh, he listens <laughs> sometimes if I make him, so I'm not gonna make him listen till like late April. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, but, you didn't, but you, well, you didn't do, yeah, you didn't do anything. Yeah, you didn't do anything. Yeah, no, I, and I even That's, called him. Like I was like, you know, like, can you take me home? I felt so uncomfortable. I'm scared. Can you pick me up? Like, I was just like, <laughs> he's like, <laughs> where's your cousin? No, she's staying. That's fucked was, up, bro. This, that, your cousin's been with that guy for you said almost 13 years. And she's going doing that? She's doing that shit? So they yeah, probably sugar mama, sugar daddy vibe. They probably got money. Okay, yeah, but, but I get... to, If I had a sugar mama, I wouldn't kiss her. Then how you going? That was that takes a point the way takes away from the sugar mama. I'll part. just tickle her with my tip. <laughs> and I know she's a sugar mama because we started talking about death because I still have made that any sets. So I was like, oh, I'm saving money, you know, to bury him. I'm gonna take him all the way to Nayeti. To be very hey. nice as well. Hey. Nayari. Wait, why Nayari? Why Nayari? Are you from Nayari? My dad is. So hey. hey. What, what, what part? What part? Yeah, what part? What part? Starts with a C. All I know is starts with a C. C? That peak. I think it was a C. No, it's not the peak. I'm not 100% sure. Like where. Guatimo. The point Guatimo is Blanco. I told her. And it was. Oh. The fuck? She. she <laughs> I, I couldn't because she was like. Can I help you pay it? And I was like, what do you mean? Wait, what'd she say? I'll give you $5,000 for you to lay him in rest. So I was like, $5,000? I was like, who offers $5,000? So I was like, is this a trip? I was like, looking no. around, and I looked at her. I was like, oh, hell no. I was like, no, I got it Wait, 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 wait. She offered you $5,000 to do what? To bury my dad. The fuck? Yeah, just to bury my dad. And I thought that, that was a little weird. I would take it back. fuck. But you know, Hold on, I'm, I'm not that type like, person. She offered five thousand dollars to bury your dad. Yeah, but she wanted her to fuck her man and her. Like that's what she wants. She but on a rail. Wait, but how? I'm, where's I'm, the correlation? I'm, I'm confused. I don't see no correlation. Is, did your dad pass away? Yeah. Oh Last yeah, yeah. Year. She. Oh okay. Last I'm sorry. Year, yeah. But uh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay, that makes sense. Okay. So we're talking about death because I don't know how it got brought up, but she looked at me. She like, you look so sad. I was like, well. My grandmother just passed away a month ago. Well, this month. Mm-hmm. But I was like, but, you know, I'm not going to focus on that. I was like, I'm here to have a good time. And then that's when she kept bringing it up. I was like, yeah, like, leave me alone. Like, you're making me think of death right now. And that's not cool, you know? Mm-hmm. I know you're offering, but I know there's a comeback to it. Yeah, she was trying to P. Diddy you. She was trying to P. Diddy you. Basically, she told me to go to San Francisco. Yeah. She told me she would take me to San Francisco. She'll pay for everything. Do you have her number? I did, but I blocked it. Can you send it to I'll me? Block it. Yeah, yeah send it. Can you send, send it to me? To get if some. I still have it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just send it. Just DM it to me, please. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, she's fifty, so she's fifty. <laughs> what are you gonna do with that? <laughs> it's like you know when you have chalk in your hands, it goes. <laughs> That's crazy. 
This was gonna be like LeBron James. Hey, but, yeah. <laughs> hey, but but that head. She takes out her dentures. <laughs> like this. <laughs> Nothing but gums. Oh, oh, shit. Shit. Bop you down. That's crazy, bro. But anywho, uh, your seventh year at Joshua Tree is gonna be so much fun. You seem like a great gal. Your boyfriend seems like a great man. Cause uh, he just seems down. Y'all been sticking together for seven years, mm-hmm. and uh, yes. I'm happy for you guys. Congratulations! There is hope. You know, Thank there you. is a love out there. Um, the seventh year itch. Don't worry about it. Think you guys are doing fine, and uh, you'll be you'll be good. It'll be good time. Joshua Tree's gonna be fun. Look at the stars. Download. Um, there's an app that lets you see all the stars. It's called um, Skylight View. Skylight it, it's View. A gr- yeah, Skylight View. It's an app that it's like a map and you point it. It's like it uses your camera lens. You point it up and it shows you what star. Like if you see a star, you point at it and it tells you what star it is. And then it shows you all the stars in the sky. It's so badass. And it tells you where the planet is. I know that app. Oh, well, that's pretty that's tight. Memory, For sure, I'll do so it. Yeah, it'll be really cool. It's a cool thing to have out there at Joshua Tree. But uh, hope you have a good day. Have yeah. a good rest of your Saturday brunch. Get your bottom- bottomless mimosas up. And, uh, it's have a good rest of your day, Queen. Hey. Thank you. I have one thing to say to Rex. <laughs> oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. I'm sorry I had to. We don't like your kind, boy. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> I I'm knew sorry it. I had to. I knew. I, I hope your man to. gets you pregnant. <laughs> All right, no. hear me now. <laughs> I'm ready. I heard your man though. gets. <laughs> uh, he's gonna get you pregnant. Watch. You gonna be a Nyarik. Where you from, Nyarik? <laughs> <laughs> Where you from? From you're Honduras? Gonna, you're going to be a single mama. <laughs> you're going to get your cilantro and onions in uh, Naya Rick with your taquitos? <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm playing. I love you. Love you too. Thanks for the support. And uh, yeah, get pregnant, you know? Yeah. He, no, he, just no. shoot the ball. <laughs> All right. Have a good no. rest of your day, queen. Thank you. Bye. 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 You see, that gave me the egg, bro. Like, I'm, I'm getting the itch from you already. Why? Why? I've been on you for seven years. Wait, have I, I known you? No, I haven't known you for seven years. I've known you for like three years. You're still new to me. Are you still fresh? <laughs> You're still fresh. Our cells are still getting to know each other. My shit, like, I want to like, just like take Rex out of my life. When have I met? I met you 2016? 2016. I met you 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. 2016, I met you too. We're at nine years. That's when you were nine years and strong. I met Saul when he was a Weenie Hut Jr. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, and then he went to the what, what, show. Is, what is the next one? Who's the that? senior Winnie Hutch? Who's that? Who's that dude from Nacho Escaleto? I met I met uh Escaleto. Es- I met Rex when he was Escaleto. Yeah, Escaleto, actually Nacho Nacho, and I kind of squeeze. <laughs> <laughs> I've what is the other one? Super Weenie Hut Jr.? Super Weenie No, it's... Uh, yeah, is it the Super Weenie Hut Jr.? Super Weenie Hut Jr. Let's gather around the campfire and sing the campfire song. That T-A-M-P-F-I-R-E-S-O-N-G song. I gave a girl, song. I gave a girl the, the <laughs> ick because I did a lot of Spongebob references. Oh, my fucking God. So. She was like, you really <laughs> love Spongebob, huh? And I'm like, fuck my bad. Whoever's, whoever that is is like no fun. <laughs> She's yeah. boring. So I was with her and she asked him a question. He's like, hold up. Let me bring out the clam. <laughs> yes, the clam. Let me, <laughs> where should we go to eat tonight? Let me go. Let me bring out the clam. <laughs> and he's like, no, yeah. no, bro. Fucking, we could do SpongeBob references, all I, bro. I've been doing all day. I know SpongeBob. I know it. Hello. Bueno, bueno, bueno. 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 Yeah, motherfucker. What's up, <laughs> motherfucker? What's up, motherfucker? What the fuck? <laughs> what's up, my boy? What's up? What's up? What's up with it? This is crazy. Like it's crazy watching the podcast, and then you actually get a call, and it's like surreal. You feel me? This is here. Mm-hmm. I feel like you either you just got done beating your meat, or you just got done smoking a joint. No, Wh- I'm actually which one sick, is bro. I'm on bed rest. Ah, oh, bed rest. Damn. damn, for sure. He's a what? He's on bed rest. Oh, bed rest. Yeah, yeah, I was yeah, about yeah. to say grown ass man getting sick. Grown Come ass man on, having man. the cold. Don't hit me like that, Rex. I'm crazy. playing. I love you, bro. I love you. Bro. That's crazy. Put, put some Vicks on your chest. Bro, put some I on your put Vicks everywhere. Is that is that weird? Like I put on the bottom of my feet, my chest, the back. Nah, of my that's good. Put, that put some works. socks. Put some socks on top of after you put Vicks yeah. on your feet. Yeah. Put your socks on. I heard if you put an onion on your foot with a sock, like it like helps. Onion, like, no yeah, way. it's like some weird like. I heard shit. that feels good to clean the grill, but on your butt. Yeah, yeah, I need to. Uh, that's some Hondureño grill. shit. I wanted to say that, but I didn't want to bring it up. Uh, put some Vicks on your on your ass. Uh, what about the booty hole? You guys ever tried to put Vicks up yeah, there? Yeah, yeah, put girl? some. 
on the rim put the like the yeah. vix like the stick one. i've accidentally done that i accidentally done that because i remember i was sick and i put vix like i was putting vix on my chest accidentally yeah. and then i was like i used the restroom and then like you know i was i was wiping and shit and mm -hmm. then it just got like near there and it burned and it burned but you bit. liked it you liked it imagine dude my nose was all off and i put that shit underneath and that shit burned if i <laughs> <laughs> well this shit turns sus Mariana, uh, let, let, let's okay. switch you got time to talk to us of course, of course. <laughs> Hell yeah. Camper. Before we continue, though, this episode is brought to you by Yo, Yo Sabo, Sabo the Game. You, 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 you. Are you familiar with Yo Sabo the Game? Yeah, I actually got it. You, guys. you got it? You got it? Yeah, what? I got the game, the pack, like the one that came with multiple packs. But this is before, because I know you guys used to have the from before. Yeah, yeah. Hey. And then, and then awesome. yeah, so that's when I got yeah. it. Like when I first got yeah, but yeah, they're always, yeah. Uh, they're always updating their cards, so make sure to go oh, get some more at YoSaboTheGame.com. Yo Sabo, yo. And follow them at YoSabo underscore the game on every social media platform. Yes, All right, so let's let's pick a card for you. You ready? Well, yeah, I'm going to I want, I want, I want, I want that one. I want that one. <laughs> Chancla, pues, para que vas a la escuela. Your parents always wanted you to become a doctor. Instruct how to give CPR in Spanish. Mm. Oh, fuck. Damn, dude. I think, isn't there a song? It's like a son Reebok or son Nike. Isn't that like a CPR song? What the, the fuck? fuck? I've never heard of that. I've never yeah, heard, heard of a different that one. Oh, there's a song that's like, it's like a, a Spanish song that you, it's like you do CPR. Carlos, I've never heard that in my life. Carlos, what's going on? Let me pick a different one. Let me pick a different one. Uh, you're not feeling well, so your mom decides to give you la limpia con huevo. Oh, Tell I the think. group about a home remedy you grew up with. Mm. Let's see, a home remedy besides putting Vicks everywhere except your asshole. Uh, probably, <laughs> probably. Oh, have you guys done the candle like earwax thing? Like I've had like a, a little thing, burn the candle and like put it like you tilt your head and the ear, the wax goes in your ear, and it's supposed to fucking magically fix your your ear infection. Damn, that sounds painful, what the bro. Fuck? That what sounds the painful. No, never had that. Never did. Like that so, <laughs> you, put, you, put candle, you put candle wax in your ear to fix your ear I infection? I think it's like a special... I was little, but it's like a special type of candle. Like, I don't know. I don't know where the fuck they got it, but I just remember being little, and they put earwax in your ear. That's, that's <laughs> I've never heard of that. Wax, that sounds like some voodoo stuff. <laughs> I put in, I put in candle wax on my chest. Oh, well, that's a different type of... <laughs> you kinky, huh? That's... <laughs> ah. Shit's crazy. That shit gets me mad. Like, like you, you doing your thing with a girl, and then she like smacks you or something, or like tries to like, like, like bitch. <laughs> that's how you do that. I, I, I that smack back. Okay, yeah, my bad, my bad, my bad. That one's crazy. <laughs> Alright, but let, 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 this one, this, one, this one, sorry, yo, Sabo. That got pretty. That was weird. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> let's go. Alright, let's go see what she said. You said I want to marry my girl, but I want to buy a house first for us. And just need to get my money up. But I'm tired of fighting with my girl and not being able to communicate and letting my emotions get the best of me and not helping me think clearly. She believes we shouldn't go to bed mad at each other. But I think sometimes it's okay because not everything can be solved in a day. P.S. Love her and she's from the IE. Hey. Yeah. Oh, that's a good one. Okay. Um, <laughs> how long have you guys been dating for? Uh, it's going on four years. It's been three and a half. And mm. she actually she was living. She's staying in the IE. And then um, oh, she, she didn't move out here for me. I live in Vegas, mm -hmm. in Las Vegas, and she moved out here. She was gonna move with her family anyway, but it kind of just worked out. It's crazy because I met her. I DJed her twenty first birthday, and I, I'm a couple years older than her. Just a couple, not creepy shit. But <laughs> it's just that's cool. It's okay, um, and you've talked to her. Like you guys both talked about getting married. Yeah, or like about, she wants to get married, like she tells you, like, "Hey, let's get married." Like, what the fuck type of shit? Yeah, like, I'm getting older. You tell me, I'm like 27, she's 24, so that's young, bro. That's 27 good. is young. Uh, I feel like um, I'm, I'm pushing 30. Down. But yeah, we, we yeah, exactly pushing 30. But we talk about like kids and getting married, and I don't really care which order we do it, cause mm. um, I know, fuck it, like it's all the same. You're all going to the fin the finish line is right there. Yeah, like exactly. the same. Yeah, yeah. I think that that's something you guys have to commun communicate like if she's willing to wait mm -hmm. to buy a house first and then yeah. get married like you say you want to buy a house first which is a smart move because i mean you know that that's a smart decision 
Because yeah. if you're gonna get married with someone, you wanna you have a buy buy a have a steady place, you know, to yeah. to come home I want to see what it's like to live with her too. Because we'll spend yeah, weekends, yeah. but I feel like it's different when you live with somebody. This <laughs> no is we hate, have one no so, hate to her. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> I have I have a family member who um, decided to move in with his uh, with his girl, and um, they both the, the this is the mistake they did. They put each other. They're both on the contract, right? So they mm. have like. Yeah, so they they they're, they're both na- they're both names are on the contract. So whose house is it, right? And mm-hmm. then after like a couple months, they're like, okay, yeah, we don't fuck with each other. So now the biggest debate is like, okay, but what about the house. what about this place? Yeah, yeah. I've heard so, um, that, like that, bro. It's scary. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that's one thing you got to keep in mind if you do get that house. That's like, true. like maybe get an apartment together first. Yeah. Maybe go that route first, and then you go into the house. Yeah, I was thinking about that, but the thing is, I have dogs. I have mm. two dogs, like medium size, like a husky, and then one of them is a mutt. And I just kind of want some... That's a big ass dog. <laughs> <laughs> but I got, I want to have like a dog. backyard with them and shit. Yeah. But, but maybe... well, definitely, if you do the house, make sure it's all in your name. Mm-hmm. You know, just yeah. and then uh, it's your house. You know. Um, also, if you want to buy the house first, I would like Hans had communicated. But mm-hmm. then tell her your plan. Be like, this is my plan on how we're going to get the house. So she's not just following you blindly. So you're like, yeah. so you're like, I'm going to do this. I'm going to save up this money. I'm going to do this. And by this time, we should have a house. That and way there's like community. And so she's not just following you blindly. Yeah. And she doesn't you guys are literally you. hitting on all cylinders <laughs> right now. Because I actually talked to her about it. So I work um, in construction here in Vegas. Mm-hmm. Well, just build yeah. your own house, bro. Nah, <laughs> not that type, but like like HVAC, you know, like sheet metal shit. And yeah. they, they pay pretty good. I'm in an apprenticeship right now. So I told her like, hey, you know, I got a good job. It's, you know, when I work overtime, you get more money, et cetera, et cetera. But I'm like, I, what I want to do is put it in my name first because I was watching all these videos mm-hmm. like um, talking about it's actually better to put it in one person's name, don't get married yet, and then your girl could use a and a loan to get another one separately. Uh, you know, I just yeah. trying to do build some well shit, but um but my job kind of sucks because um sometimes it has slow seasons. So there'll be mm. a point where I won't work for like two months, three months. Oof. Just because oh, it's slower yeah. elections. Yeah. Oh. So that's the only thing that sucks. But I talked to her about it before, like I want to put it in my name, but then she hit me with, Well, I want to help you and we could get approved for more if we both put our names on it. And I'm like, damn. She got me. Right. Well, I think okay. You also mentioned that um, you guys sometimes argue and you guys go to bed mm-hmm. angry, and because yeah. I think I think you guys are both right. Because I mean, no one wants to go to sleep angry, right, at each other. But also, like you said, sometimes you just gotta like yeah, give yeah. it a day or so, you know, or a few or yeah. two days or whatever to kind of like get over the fact or whatever. Yeah, I think. I think it's true because sometimes you're too mad to even be like, I can't sit down with you or not because yeah, yeah, yeah. it's going to piss me off exactly. even more. There's yeah. this thing that people do that live together, like like relationships, what? that they sleep in different rooms. Yeah, yeah. I have my, mom, my mom's friends do that shit with their husbands and that for like the long, and they love each other, but they do, they've done that their whole life. Yeah, because I think you do need like that space away from your partner sometimes. Yeah. But that that's tough. That's some white people shit. That yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I want to, you know, I'm, I'm a... I'm a softy on the inside, bro. Like sometimes after we fall, I want to cut little spoon. I want to cut them. Yeah, a little spoon. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> uh, nah, yeah, I do. I do agree. Like I agree with both sides because um, I, I I don't like going to sleep angry. Yeah, mm. just because I get nightmares, so I don't like doing that. You're fucking. <laughs> <laughs> That shit got whoa, me hot. Whoa. It made my blood. Just, I want to sock you right now. <laughs> <sighs> nah, just kidding. With their blankie. You got a big heart. With the yeah. all warm like this, like this, <laughs> like that. No, <laughs> I'm warm. You're. <laughs> hey, you guys ever have those girls that she up as a nightmare that uh, you were cheating on her or something, and she gets mad at you and she wakes up. Like, damn, yeah. it wasn't a dream. It wasn't even me. What the fuck? I know. That's a raven as. <laughs> Yeah. Crazy, but uh, yeah. I mean, I'm I'm a I'm the type that I take a while. I need to process my emotions first. So mm-hmm. like, if I do get, I find if, if like I'm in an argument, I can't give you, I can't talk to you right there because I'm too impulsive and I just say shit I don't mean. Mm-hmm. Well, so I'd rather just talk. Yeah. So I'd rather just talk about it like 
the next day or the following day. Yeah, it's, I've learned I'm like that uh, too. I have, uh, I'm, yeah. It's low key super yeah. ironic. You guys called me. I forgot you guys call on Sundays, but I literally, I don't know why, but I just got in. I mean, I do know why I'm my dumbass. Um, mm-hmm. I just got into an argument with my girl like, right now. <laughs> why? And she why, why? We watch this show religiously too, like every week. Fucking. Hey. Um, so she's gonna hear. Wait, me. wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Sorry, I love hold you, bro. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, bro. Before we, before we move forward, whatever you're saying right now, you're cool with saying it. You're right? cool with saying it, right? Because we don't want to end up taking it. Out. Like, of course, of course. I just hope that she watches this and she knows I love her and I got my issues, you know. But we all do, and I want to make it work. So that's so cute. Okay, bro. I put myself on blast. So okay. Okay, so then talk about. It. Let's see. Why did you guys get an argument? We're oh, trying to help okay. You maybe not talk about the one that. Hans really just trying to set you up. That's nah, crazy. I'm trying to yeah, help. That's crazy. Uh, bro, sometimes, oh. sometimes you need like. But I mean, they have arguments. Uh, like, he has his thinking. Glass. No, but I, like, okay, how did you guys go about it? Like, Instigating like, right now. Like, um, this? All right, so let me see if I can put this suddenly. I guess without, without, because I, I don't, know, I don't know if she has homies. Family, right? Did not watch this, so I don't want to put it on that. But uh, you ever have problems, Rex? I, I'm going to Rex for this one because he's married. That's crazy, me. bro. Yeah, because you're married. <laughs> so, so sad, you know, in the beginning, there's a honeymoon phase, and you guys, you guys are fucking all the time, and then the later, you know, like once you get married and you live together, then the the fire kind of dies down. Like, for I feel yeah, like for yeah. girls, especially like once they get married, then they like maybe they don't have that drive they used to. Really, I hear that opposite. I hear guys don't have the drive. Really, afterwards, no, well, so you, start, you, get, you gotta start I'm doing butt play. I'm, a, I'm free. Do we do that? No, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> not me. Not you, me. You, you she gotta, she gotta start licking your cooch. Oh, okay, no, 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 no. I feel like little by a, little, it's little steps, bro. Dude, I feel like that's a that's like not a wife thing. That's like a. You so, know, what do you like, mean? Like she like, she puts her nose on your butt, just. <laughs> boop. Me personally, bro, I don't, me personally, I feel like that's like a, a single guy, one night stand type of deal. Like, uh, I don't uh, care about this girl. I'm secretly my, yeah, my. <laughs> yeah, because then your girl will use that against you, against your friends. Like, let's exactly. say you're with your friends, like at a Super Bowl party, uh-huh. and then you're like, bro. you're like, babe, go bring us chips. And you're like, I don't got, like, there's no more. And then you just start talking shit. Like, yo, you probably ate them. Like, yeah, like I ate your ass. Oh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> you liked it, huh? <laughs> In front of the homies hey, too. Hey, like, you that's came. Crazy. Yeah. Dude, nowadays uh, the homies might be like, "Yeah, I'm gonna dap you up after." That. <laughs> yeah, like that's right, King. Yeah, yeah. Let her fucking get on her knees for you, homie. That's, yeah, that's right. right. That's what I've been saying, dog. It's the most powerful thing you can do. Man, I don't know. Well, like I said, I'm not married. You know, mm-hmm. Rex is, so he can give you a perspective on no, that. No, I want uh, everybody's perspective, though. Yeah, but uh, I'll just kidding. <laughs> I don't know. To me, it's like I, I, this is the thing I've always said, like. And relationship is very important to be sexually attractive to your partner because mm-hmm. sometimes feelings, you know, die down. So you yeah. want to at least be sexually attracted to your partner to have that thing that you're attracted to them so it can bring you back into those feelings again. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah so I, I don't know. I think... Um, <laughs> what the fuck? Whoa, whoa. It's getting deep, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, right? Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> keep going, keep going. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Keep that, going. Keep he's going, hating. Keep he's going. hating. He's hating. Nah. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Hans, keep going, like, keep going. I forgot what I was saying. Now you fucking. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's my train of thought. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I got keep good color. Ah. No, uh, <laughs> he, he wants to be the main character. No, bro, I'm telling you. Look, bro. If your girl don't want to clap your shit, yeah, I'm yeah, telling yeah. you, bro. Just, just, bro. The best thing you could do in sex is. Start doing public sex, you know, start what fucking in f- different locations, oh, like, different you places. Huh, shut up. I'm married. <laughs> okay. okay yeah. All right, look, listen, bro. This is what you're going to do, bro. I'm taking notes. I'm taking notes. Look, look, here's what you're going to do, bro. You're going to take her, not on a date. You're going to take her somewhere, let's say, to the, like, start, start fucking different places. Like, like, you know, like, like, like different locations. Like, I don't know. You, you, you live in Vegas. Really go fuck her at the Hoover Dam, you know? What the fuck? Go, go, go clap her in the, in the helicopter. Like, and, uh, okay. in the cosmopolitan. Okay. Yeah, in the cosmopolitan. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Like in the, in the pirate uh, Caribbean. What is the ship? <laughs> the treasure oh, island. Yeah, yeah. Go clap her in the church. <laughs> like, make it crazy, bro. Fuck her in the Trump Tower, you know? Oh, yeah. where, make where you call her beer. Case, Can't you get in trouble for that shit? It don't matter, bro, but that's what makes it fun. <laughs> you know? Like, okay, you could okay. tell your kids, like, you know, I clapped your mom and. 
in the <laughs> where's that word in the treasure island ship yeah in the treasure <laughs> island like in the bunker <laughs> treasure island. In, in, in the singer right frog right? bathroom yeah, yeah. i had her shit going crazy at caesar palace like what the fuck uh, hell yeah. oh, I, I'm, I'm not your mom in the fucking what's the hotel the party one at the luxor no, no. The Lux, <laughs> no. <laughs> Tell her like, yeah, I was clapping your mom like at the at the Encore Beach Beach Club while, while chain smokers were on. Uh, chill, chill. We're, we're gonna get them in trouble. Chill, chill. Yeah, catch infections, <laughs> I'm telling you, bro. Just different locations, bro, and try to okay. make it public too. Like, fuck yeah. it, just throw the ball, you know. I, I mean, fuck. I mean, first of all, how do you do it, bro? Because like long distance is crazy. Like, well, wait, where did she live? Distance. No, no, it was long distance for the first like. Ben oh, for the first. Oh, okay. But then she moved on here to Vegas. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. gotcha. Yeah, What's so. that? Hey, I'm one? familiar with Vegas. I used to have a girl in Vegas. Oh, oh hey, there that's we go. why. You know what? I mean, <laughs> that's why I like her is because I feel like Vegas girls are a certain type of way, and I just have like bad feeling. Because I'm originally from Texas. I live. I moved to Vegas when I was hella young. But some about like the IE, I feel like it's very relatable to. To Texas, because I feel like you guys are just down to earth for the most part. You know, maybe not everybody, yeah. but everybody's cool. Yeah. And also, um, no hate to you know do no and all them, but fuck them fools for hating on IE. <laughs> Anyways, um, anyway, <laughs> hey, um, yeah. But yeah, I just feel like I I really like it because her personality and how she is. Besides, you know, besides she's bad, but not sure. Just, just, just uh, she holds it down like she's just a down ass, you know. Down ass high Wait, you, you yeah. said you met her at her party because you were DJing at her party? <laughs> yeah. <at 21st. laughs> like, what was going through your mind when you were mixing? Um, I was like, well, it wasn't like that type of party, bro. Like, so it was uh, a family friend. Like, she had like a little family party uh -huh. with her like step family. And then one of her family friends is like, oh, what are you doing today? I'll pay you to DJ. I was like, All right, fuck it. So they, they set went, you up. They wanted then, you to meet. They wanted you to meet. Probably, dude. Probably. Mm -hmm. They give them shit now. They joke them like, oh, thanks a lot. Now we're stuck with him. But they uh -huh. know they like me. But um, <laughs> looking. So it was I actually it's funny because I brought my homie and she has a cousin that's like the same age. The homie was like, uh, I told him like, hey bro, she's cute. I, I called dibs on her. On the that's how it's done. That's how it's done. <laughs> And then she told me her cousin actually called this on me. I just thought Ooh. that was funny. <laughs> chill, chill. Chill, chill, um, chill. But yeah, it was two hours mixing, and I'm just like, this feels bad. And um, and then I asked for her Instagram, and then we just started talking. And then it's been history yeah. ever since. Well, I mean, I feel like you, you guys have a definitely have a thing going on. You know, I feel like, again, you probably just have to have that uh, conversation with your girl and be like, hey, this is what I want to do. This is my plan with you. Whether we get a house first or an apartment first to see how things are. Yeah. Um, with the whole sex thing, I mean, you know, that's normal, I guess. You know, as long as you guys have sex, I feel like it's healthy to have sex at least once a week, right? That's, so that's a healthy saying, thing. But for... That's for a month. <laughs> but I don't know, bro. I, I, just, but I, don't I feel like when you, you like, because the fight, hmm. I got into a fight recently just because I didn't know how to bring it up. Like, I guess sometimes I bring up shit, but I'll come across as a jerk, as, like, insensitive. But I don't mean to come across that way. I'm just trying to address the issues or the problems. You know what? I was the same way, bro. Like, I, it's not that I'm trying to be an asshole, but f for us guys, there's never a good time or never yeah. a right time to say something. Yeah. Because exactly. you, you're a dick, right? Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I think, <laughs> yeah. So yeah. I don't know, bro. I think... I don't know. What does she say that you like you say it wrong with attitude or what? Yeah, not only with her though, but like with my family, like my my, my little sister. <laughs> Ignore the voice crack fucking I'm sick. Um but uh yeah, she says that she noticed I do that with other people, not just her. And mm. I actually started um I don't know if you guys believe in therapy, but I started going to therapy to try to like yeah, I went up there and, and try to better myself, you know, because I better feel like help. I feel like <laughs> I feel like um I can only do so much, and then sometimes people recognize looking on the outside, especially professionals. And mm -hmm. I just want to better myself. You feel me? I don't want her. I don't want to fucking fuck up a good thing. Are you uh, a hothead? I used to be a, like big, like big time. I used to like black out, punch holes in walls. <laughs> Did you ever um, punch foods for no reason? No, 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 not like that. Oh, okay, yeah, I gotta no, say, no. not that much. Like, uh, <laughs> like Hans, do you have a oh, concrete bag in your room? Could you be punching walls? 
No, I used to have a little heavy bag, but I put that shit up. No, I actually stopped, bro. I had a, it was sad. Like, um, one time when I was in high school, um, I forgot what happened, but I got pissed and my mom came home and, and I just blacked out and I remember punching a hole in the wall and she got pissed and she dipped. Like, she oh, had to take a drive. Oh, so, Diana, so you punched Yeah, I was, about to, <laughs> I, <know. laughs> I was like, no. I was so scared of where this story was going. Uh, I looked at the camera, I was like, oh. Yeah. No, no, no. Bro, I'm not going to be like that like, Peter Piper. <laughs> Lay out your mom, you deck your <laughs> butt. <laughs> that would have yeah. been crazy. No, so yeah, bro, my you just need sister, to stop punching, you know? Yeah, no, I've been good lately, like, for the past fucking, like, over five years, because what really hurt me, bro, is my little sister was there, too. And mm-hmm. she's like, she was younger, like, she's like, Oh, you made my mom leave like she's not gonna come back and i felt like it did uh, yeah that shit broke my heart so I was like, well okay. bro i think i think you're in the right steps right now and you know your girlfriend know you said she watches this so yeah. sis this is a good man you got a good so man you, you guys have a good thing going on just you have he's a little good. patience for each other communicate he's trying his best he's trying his best you know stick to the plan bro and and he cares because he's reaching out yeah he's reaching yeah. out and if she leaves me, I'm going to make a video like that for her. Don't leave me, baby. <laughs> oh, that one video? Yeah, on Facebook. I love you, baby. I love you, baby. Man, but yeah. thank you so much for taking our call. I had a great yeah. conversation with you. Hope you feel better. I know you're a little beyond you. bed rest right now. Just pop a little movie or something. something. Yeah, that's awesome. Hey, some you guys ever think easy. about, like, um, whenever you're sick, are you supposed to jack off? Like, you think that makes you less? Bro, you know what? When I was sick, I beat the f- I beat the fuck out of my shit. Like, it owed me money. Like, like, it just helps you go to sleep. Bro, I literally, like, I didn't even clean. It was on my pants. Oh, my God. Like, oh, it's chill. Hey. You had a swimming pool in your yeah, belly button? my belly button. I like how you say chill, but you keep it like, but what else? Oh, it was like, <laughs> like you, go, and you could just slurp it. Uh, no, my bad. Ah, oh, pause. Uh, but yeah, we'll let you go I'll there. Be- <laughs> All right, bro. What the I fuck? appreciate the That's- call. I fuck with you guys, nah. uh, fuck Really, you bitch? Here. You be coming on your panza? But I'm too far. That's that crazy, was, that Hans. Was, that was a little That's sus. crazy, Hans. For the show, you got a hairy ass panza. Sorry, too. sorry, my friends are arguing about who comes Anyways, My bad, my bad. Who comes Hans, more. Hans, yeah, Hans both of you guys are fucking cute, man. All right, don't worry about it. Hey, yeah. Thank you, bro. <laughs> Come fuck, hey, Hans. It's dope hey, hearing from you guys. It's dope getting an actual call. Like, it's kind of crazy. But you guys actually um, are not that toxic as people think. So, I mean, you're good. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank bro. you, bro. Thank, Thank you. And fuck the haters. And uh, LA doesn't have street parking. That's what my girl said. So, fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> Five right, bucks man. to park. Huh? That's crazy. I right, have a good rest of your day. All right, guys. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. What the fuck? What's going on? She says we sound Hello? like aliens. Hi. Oh, hi. No, no. Hi. We sound better. Now you sound better. That was weird. Yeah, we're My possessed. <laughs> How you doing? I'm doing good. Nice. Love that. Love, cool. love to hear it. Love cool. to hear. You have time to talk to us? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, you. Uh, you cool. You cool. You cool. You said. <clears throat> So my boyfriend is upset because my coworkers messaged me and asked me if I want to go eat with them. I didn't go eat with them, but this is not the first time he gets so upset that my coworkers are messaging me, asking me if I want to go eat with them. I can't control what other people say. What do you guys think? Do you guys think I'm in the wrong? What do you think, Hans? Let me know. I let think. Me let it know. Look, let her know. Look. It's look. not your fault that they're DMing you or texting you. Yeah. But it's a level of how you're telling your man. So it's like my coworkers DM, uh, texted me, hey, let's go out. And then your boyfriend finds out. And it's like how you go about it. It's like, oh, well, it's not my fault. Like, you know, if you, if you start nagging him like that, he's going to be like, what the fuck? Why are you defensive? Yeah, getting all defensive. Then I understand. But I think it's also your coworkers. Like, if they know your boyfriend doesn't like that and they still do it, it's like they don't respect this fool at all. Yeah. They're trying to little bro him like what the fuck fuck that fool. I'm gonna fucking ask. Do your regardless. coworkers know you have a boyfriend? Mm, that's a good question. Yeah. Mm. See, and they still do it. <laughs> where, your, boyfriend, <laughs> hold on, hold on. your boyfriend got to come and stand on business. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Where, where do you oh work? My gosh. Where do you work? Oh, oh <laughs> my fucking god! Yeah. Where are they trying oh to take you gosh. out? Chili's you know, on a like, Friday. It's like TGI Fridays. Oh, we're where? Gonna where? Get, we're gonna go get like. Pizza or McDonald's or something. Do you want to go with some dick? 
What's up? With no. some fucking dick. With a side of dick. I'm fucking hot no. right now. With a side of dick and a side of fries. Where are you going to eat the McDonald's? In the car? <laughs> yeah. Just cause, no, we go to the lunchroom. How old are you? Oh, wait. I'm pause, 22. pause, pause. I get it. I get it. They're just going to go get food, right? So they're kind of including you to be like, hey, we don't want you to like, like, you yeah, know, when you're like with a bunch of homies. Yeah. You know, when you're a oh. bunch of homies and you guys want to get food and you're like, hey, we're going to, you want to come with us? Yeah, like yeah. Or it's they'll not like, ask me if I want something. Like I sometimes don't even go. You get me? Um, yeah, it's a different. I think it's a different. <laughs> I I think I mean to me I don't like I don't care right. Hey. But like the thing is, his boyfriend is not cool with it, right? Let's just, for whatever his reasons are, he's not cool with that shit. So it's yeah. like the fact that you keep asking my my girl, like you know, I'm not cool with it. You keep asking her. Hey. Why is he not cool with her girl going to get food know. for lunch? I, I don't, hey, don't shoot I mean, me, bro. Might, I mean, I'm not him. I mean, lunch well, well, like, and low, low, you know? Like, <laughs> hey, hey, oh hey, girls gosh. be getting clapped on lunchtime break, you know? like it's be- Hans, you know how warehouse foods are? Bro, no, that's the fucking silent your phone. Why is your phone so loud? Yeah, why? That's crazy. Oh, Who, mine? No, no, no Rex. Rex. He's oh, like his third bad. Ball. Did you silent it? Or you just fucking stopped the car again? <laughs> right now. <laughs> like how he um, looks. Suck my dick, huh? <laughs> All right, let's go back. Okay, so I think so when your coworkers are inviting you out, is it a group of them or is it like one of them specifically? It's like a group of them. And is it like a mix of guys and girls or, or is it all guys? <laughs> okay. So it's like mostly like two of them that are guys. Mm-hmm. But if that's really it, like, but like, ugh, I don't know. Like, <laughs> that giggle? Get so mad. That giggle yeah, you yeah. just did? Yeah. Says a lot. Yeah. Nah, not that, even. Nah, like, so, 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 that little giggle right there tells me, like, <laughs> this yeah, they're, they're kind of cute, but like, you know. Yeah, uh, I think about it. I, I worked at yeah. warehouses my whole life, bro. And there's always, like, whenever you try to make a bond with, like, you know, coworkers, you're always, at the, at the end of the day, it's like, we're not really fucking friends. You're my coworker. Yep. Yeah, my coworker's cute. I'm, I'm down to clap. Mm-hmm. So he's kind of trying to move his way in there. No, you no, know? no. But, like, yeah, yeah. I'm not, I don't give that. I don't give, like, <laughs> but they I'm do. flirting they do. on the, I make it very clear I got a man. <laughs> they don't matter. Motherfuckers, the oh, they, yeah, they don't care. They don't only because only uh, there's a goalie doesn't mean you still can't shoot and make it in. Oh my gosh! I'm sorry, but that's how life is. I yeah, I think. Um, I mean, it's now it's just up to you. I mean, if they're offering you free food, take that shit for sure. You know, yeah, I think like, you need to talk to your said. boyfriend. That's what I talk said. to your boyfriend. <laughs> look, look, talk to your boyfriend and tell Why him. Look, try to make try to make, him, try to make him secure. If you know he's insecure about that, then try to make him secure. You know, reassure him, I guess. And if he still doesn't. Like all right. I don't know. All right, look, look, look. Let me get let me get in your head nice as fuck. Right? Oh Where does your man work? He construction. All right. How do you feel the uh, the the loncheria the ladies? We're we're offering him free food and offering him his number. And he's like, Oh, oh well, you know, come oh my God. me. You, he said the same shit. Like, oh my god. I knew it. I knew it. For me, if it's free shit. food, who cares, bro? That's what I said. I go, but it's not like I went with them. I went to, like, they bought pizza and offered me some. So if a guy was offering you a a, a, a drink at the bar, you're going to accept it even though you have a man? That's it's the same thing. No, it's not. Yes, it well, is. Actually, it's a free drink. Wait, no, wait, wait. I would. I would at the bar. I would. It just kind of depends because they can push it in the drink. So I don't know. It has to come no, straight I from the bartender. exactly because of that. Yeah, I it has to come straight from the bartender. Um, but and yeah, if the bartender gives me the drink, I'm taking that shit. Well, that the, that's different. Why? I because he it's pays the bartender. No, but they're paying for the drink. And I'm yeah. taking that drink. But if someone yeah. gives me a drink, I'm not taking that drink. Same thing with food, bro. Give me the food. I'm down. I'm a. Slut. I don't know. To me, I am a slut for food, bro. You you're, are, a you get you're a slut. Exactly. Hey, uh, uh, skr, skr, skr. Skr. Oh now, honestly, I don't know. I feel like I feel like you guys. How long you guys been dating for? For almost a year. I think your man's got to pull up, bring you lunch. That's what he's got to do. Yeah, and yeah. it's like he does, and like it's just so crazy. He'll get upset. It sounds like you really want to go. It, it sounds like you really want to go eat with your coworkers. But and that's I fine don't. if you do. Yeah, go eat with your coworkers. Just fucking t- talk to your boyfriend if he's not cool with it. I mean, you guys should just. Yeah, at the end of the day, no, all jokes aside, it's if you standing on business because yeah. at the end of the day, it's on you. Yeah. Who cares if yeah. your coworkers inviting you out? Who cares if they want to like go like bring you food? Who cares if your intentions are not ill? Then who cares, bro? You're chilling. 
And then you gotta let your mans know that. Be like, Ew. What happened? My intentions are never ill. I'm there you always go. standing on business. Standing on business. Mm-hmm. Always. As you should, queen. Mm-hmm. That's what we want to that's, that's what we do here. Everybody in one on one. We want to let y'all know you got to stand on business. Yeah, stand on, stand on business. Stand on business. Ten toes down. Ten toes down. Dot your Ten P's and Q's. Down. Dot P's your I's and, and T's. Q's. Your X, Y's, A-B-C's. and Z's. A, yep. B, C's, one, two, three. <laughs> the fuck Shut is going the, on? I'm right dead. Now. <laughs> yeah. What's going on? Yeah. Anyway. Anyway, I think you're on. <laughs> you're, you're cool. Um, yeah. cough all over you. You're not too crazy. I mean, just let your boyfriend know that you standing on business. Tell him like that. Be like, don't trip, babe. Like I'm standing on business, and he's gonna be like, okay. damn, who taught okay. you that? But I will never okay. trust. My girl around any warehouse, man. Yeah, I don't, I don't be honest. Yeah. That's just me. Call me. Don't trust warehouse. Call me whatever workers. it is, but, but it'd be I'm like, fucking. It'd be like these guys are all old as fuck. Like, it's <laughs> even worse. Even worse. Like, shit. Shit. But like, they ain't got nothing to lose. Home. They're still going to clock at seven. They, they I'm got, dead. I'm yeah. dead. Still, they're, they're still loading up the truck. Like, come on. <laughs> what do they got to no. lose? Like, and if they do get to you. <laughs> That's another, you know, that's another star on them. Mm. Oh my god! Hey, oh my god! No, hey, the warehouse, there ain't no rules in there. Once them, <laughs> once them doors close, once them doors close, it's free it, for all. Once, once the you gates, pu- once close, you punch in at six in the morning, it's still purge in there. It's still yeah. purge in there. But nope, uh, nope, I nope, think. Nope, nope. <laughs> well, if there's anything else you need help with, so let us know. But besides that, I think you you chilling. You sound like you stand on business. Yeah, I think you stand, you gotta stand on. No, I feel like you have to stand on business. You have to, like talk yeah. to your boyfriend and be like, "Look, I love you. Ain't nothing going on. Like you either trust me or you don't." Yeah. yeah. Let me ask one question. Let me let yeah. me ask you a question before you go. Okay. Has okay. So your coworkers. Like the two guys you said they they take out the other girls, right? <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, no, let me cook. 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 Like that. Let me cook. Let me cook. If, I'm the, if I'm the only like is like, are let me cook. Are the guys clapping the other girls shit? No. Mm. Well, but what's up well, with the giggle? giggle? What there? was the giggle? There's something there's something yeah. between. No, because you said if they're taking out other girls like out to eat, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, I mean, they used to, but like, they don't take anybody else out, like, or like, offer anybody else pizza or food or something. Well, they're, they're, everyone else probably ugly, and you're probably, probably cute. cute. Especially yeah. if you listen to Bueno Bueno, it's scientifically proven. Every girl that listens to Bueno Bueno is a baddie. Yeah, yeah. she a baddie. Facts. She knows she a ten. Yeah, she a baddie. She, she a knows baddie. she a ten, and she stand Facts. on business. Facts. Yeah, yeah. I, I look, I look. I think you're, I don't think. Look, you're not. I don't think you're doing anything wrong. Like you can say you're not doing anything wrong. And I believe you, but yeah. I think you're a little blind because you don't understand that these men are trying to make the a dogs. move. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're trying to make yeah. a move, and you don't see that. So you gotta be careful because I'm telling you, guys, men are dogs. The fuck kind of dog are you? You're Mudo, Mudo ass dog. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Ooh, I, I'll shoot that dog. If I, if I see your dog sound like you, I'll shoot him. <laughs> I'm dead. All right, but we'll let you go. Thank you so much for uh, taking our call. Appreciate you. Stand Thank you guys for calling me. I of love course. the podcast. Thank, Thank you. you. It's my tell favorite. Your hey, hey, hey. Tell your coworkers to listen to us. You do that. No, I'm not. (laughs) (laughs) She's gatekeeping us. Yeah, I'm gatekeeping. I don't want nobody to know. She wants us all to herself. She's a warehouse. She's a warehouse. Hey, what is that supposed to mean? That you're gatekeeping. Uh, You're gatekeeping (laughs) us? You're gatekeeping us. (laughs) <laughs> yeah send it to your co because they can listen to us on lunch and the guys i'm like you guys can hear my voice in the podcast yeah yeah they can replay that voice all the time yeah. but, I'm uh, dead. but thank you so much hope you have a good rest of your day happy uh easter weekend bye 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 happy easter bye. <laughs> You can't be fucking. You know that that kind of goes into the topic I want to talk about. That's perfect. That whoa. noise you're making right now. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Me and Rex are talking about it in the car. What? You know that one? You know that song? Uh, uh what's El Chat? What? What's it called? El Chocoron. El Chocoron. That song. El Chocoron. 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 Did you know? 
yeah. that that fool was actually death el chambo what that's his he name. was actually mudo so like when he was saying that he was actually trying to talk but he couldn't oh shit yeah i didn't know that and that song's a fucking hit, a banger yeah. fool Chugarun, 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 chugarun. So that's not him just making that up. No. That's him actually trying to sing. He's trying to sing, but he's mudo. He can't. Like, he can't. What? Yeah. <laughs> play it, play it, Hans. I don't, know, it. I don't know if it's. Nah, I mean, that's a cool song. That's cool. It, it's fucking crazy, right? Yeah. It just goes to show anybody can be a singer. Yeah. But, like, my thing is, like, he was rapping off beat. <laughs> That's fucked up. Now, like, he hey, was, it's crazy because us when we were little kids, we're at the we're at the family party. Chicken bro, chicken bro, chicken bro. Bro, to this chicken day, I'm like, like, whenever I go to a family party or like a the, my neighbor's party, they're playing this song, and I'm just like, it's just a hit. So think about it. He he was just singing, and then they put the beat on, on over on top of that. Oh wow, that's that's that's, that's sick. That's, that's that's crazy. That bro. is cool. That's fucking. You think he ever got to hear the song? No, he's he can't. Fuck you, right? <laughs> oh, that's right. Cause he's not fuck. Wait, he's deaf, so that means he can't hear. Well, there is some some so he people. so he couldn't hear it. He never heard his masterpiece. Well, well, they, well, they do the low frequency of the bass. That's how they dance to it. Yeah, yeah. But the words, yeah, maybe that's true. Crazy. We're not not all deaf people. Like they're not all completely. What what what? Like you know, deaf. They, they, I mean, some. I've always wondered deaf. what's their. How do they like what language is in their head when you're born death? What do you like? What language? Mm. You oh, born? Yeah, when you're born death, what's the language that you that's in your brain? How do you think? <laughs> well, my my uh my aunt, she's uh she's she's deaf uh -huh. and she like how do I put it? She um she, was she, she wasn't born? born, it just like an accident happened. Yeah. But she's um she understands. But English. that's no, no, yeah, but that's, that's different. different. That's different. Never, yeah, that's not, different. yeah, I'm asking like But she lost her death when she was like three years old. So technically yeah, like kind kinda pretty mm, much. Okay. I guess that yeah. so so I, I, no, she understands. She's smart. Like she understands a yeah, lot yeah. of languages and everything we say. And she knows how to communicate through her hands. So she knows like sign language and everything. Hmm. How do you do you know how to say stand out standing on business? <laughs> You know how? How? It's like, think it was like, it was something like that. It's like you stand on business. I think it was like that. Stand on business or something like that. Stand on business. Oh. Yeah, stand on business. Yeah. Well, like it's, it's funny because um my my aunt she um she she like every every finger is one of us. Like you know that's her mom. That's you know uh, her sister, her, her brother. What you know, what finger are you? And the I'm one? the metal finger. <laughs> I knew it. it. It's true. Like it, that's what she always goes like this, and I always. It's just funny as fuck to me. Does she know what that means? Because because my cousin be like cousin like sign language her, and he, my cousin tells her like, oh look Brian came, and she's like, oh. <laughs> I'm gonna start calling you. I'm gonna start calling you Rex. Like, uh, Rex at this. <laughs> it's funny, bro. It's funny, but it's just smart people. It's a death. That people are really smart. Yeah, it's uh people with disabilities. It's it's not a disability. It's disability. Disability. Uh, uh, you 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 cooking, you cooking. This ability. Yeah, this because ability. um, with the senses is how the senses work. Let's say if you're not good at if you're not if your eyesight is bad, your hearing is really good. If you're hearing, because mm -hmm. it has to make up. So yeah. if your hearing is bad, your eyesight's really good, and it's just and or your sense of smell. But mm -hmm. it just transfers over somewhere else. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. That's why with the the autistic people, they're really smart in a certain like in a certain thing. Oh yeah. Because mm -hmm. like it just like there's just so much energy that has to be put out that they just transfer it somewhere else. It's like oh, this tube is closed. You know, like think of like a water pipe, right? It's mm -hmm. like a bunch of water just flowing through some pipes. And let's say if one pipe está tapado, it goes back and it shoots even harder on the second pipe. Your analogies are very like, like, cause I'm like hearing, I'm like, that makes yeah. sense. <laughs> but it's like weird. He's I'm really good at analogies. Yeah. You yeah. know what's crazy? Uh, I think, well, I think one of my, uh, my best traits is I'm really good at analogies. Cause I remember, I remember in high school, there was this weird ass thing that the teacher was te like asking, like teaching how to like teaching the class about. Mm -hmm. And like, I was the only one that got it. And then I was <clears> like, oh yeah, just think about it this way. And I was like, this, 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 and that. And then everybody was like, oh, shit. And they all understood it. Yeah. Honestly, I, I was, I, I used to, I'm going to tell you, I used to be a nerd. nerd. No, I used to be a nerd. Oh, I know. Like, in college. Oh, yeah. That's when he groomed you. <laughs> what the fuck? Damn. Wait, my bad. Fuck. 
in college, I used to stay after class. <laughs> I used to stay after class and I teach the kids. Really? Yeah. Because uh, cause I'm really good at like learning something and figuring out how to like, so to say, like explain it better or like dumb it down in a way. Yeah, I was about to say that. <laughs> I didn't, I just didn't no, yeah. What do they say? Explain, explain it to me like I'm a fifth grader? No, nah, because it was just, it was, I don't know. I just understood it. So like after class, I'll tell people like, I'll just be helping people because you can't leave until you finish like a worksheet or whatever. So I was like, oh, yeah. And I was just helping people. And I just had a group of like five, six people around my desk. And I was just like, yeah, do this, do this. Yeah, talk, think about this, like this, like that. Had all the bad bitches done. I was in stuff, bro. I was in fucking, I was in the study halls with the hoes. <laughs> he Tried. did it for the hoes. They were using you, though. Yeah, they were using me. You know, were and it's crazy because when Saul teaches stuff, he, like, he calls us a bot. Like he gets mad. Bot. Fucking nah, bot. nah, that's true. Hey, you know what? I'm not a, I'm a hands-on learner. Like you can sit there. I mean, this fool knows. Like he, he uh -huh. was like when he was teaching me how to edit. He was telling me over, oh, and I'm like, I don't know. I had to do it myself. To him, like, oh, okay. I, got I had it. to grab him by the waist and hold his hand. Yeah, he like stood that. behind me, like just grab my hand, the mouse. No, but I feel you with that. It's it's uh you know this this ability this ability this ability people. Yeah, they just. I mean, they're fun. Like my aunt. Let me tell you. Let me tell, let me tell you the crazy story about my aunt. My aunt. She's um when she was five. It's, it's it's so bad but when, yeah when she was five my grandma took it to the to the hospital to go see her doctor and i don't know what happened for whatever reason or whatever um the doctor injected her in the middle of her brain right here Fuck. bro it's i know this is what we're talking about way back oh, i remember you told me this long time ago yeah he injected her yeah, on the yeah. brain in the middle oh, and yeah. the needle the needle hit her, her, her you know it hit her brain yeah, yeah, yeah. and she ended up losing her ability of of um like her hands like you know she ended up twitching a lot Ugh. and he just messed her up and she lost her hearing and and yeah she became you know she was she she was in a coma and then she became like you know disability mm -hmm. when she woke up and everything and She's smart and everything, and and my grandma really didn't know because you know like poverty, you you don't really know anything. Yeah. But if that like I always say if that would happen in the U.S., Ooh. my grandma would have been super fucking rich because yeah, yeah. that lawsuit would have been. That's a bag. Yeah. Fuck yeah. And and my grandpa always felt hurt through all that that time because he just you know you lose your daughter and over something so fucking stupid and and you know, like you know my my grandma and my grandpa grew up like. Learning a way of of the of them like taking care of my you know of their daughter, and learning how to like take care of a kid disability without being like it born it was just yeah, yeah, she yeah. was normal and then that shit happened. Question: Who so who takes care of her now? Yeah, yeah my 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 grandma and grandpa. Oh, they're still alive. Your yeah, grandma? yeah, okay. yeah. So it's it's hard, bro. It's hard, and I've always seen that. And my my sis, I mean my my mom, my uncles, my aunt, they all like took care of her and shit. And like, but it's it's fun, bro. I'm telling you, like what I say is fun is because. You know they have a disability, but they like to joke around a lot. They're really happy people. Mm. My aunt, she's really happy. She likes to like a good sense of humor. Great sense of humor, bro. Like, like, and it's funny when they they throw the tantrum. Like, I don't know if you have like any experience, everything. Like, it's it's just funny because like, you know they're mad, but you let them be because you can't really tell them anything. Mm. But even when you like teach them like new stuff, they they like to learn, and they ended up like learning quick and everything. You know? mm. It's 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 a fun experience, bro. Especially if you have any family members. But the sad part about it and the hard part is just taking care of them and like yeah. teaching them new ways and shit. Mm. But oh. but she knows how to like draw. She knows how to like um like clean the house. It's mm. not that they make her. She just does it. Like she, yeah yeah. And and um little by little she knows how to sign language even though she really can like she shakes when she moves her hand. But how old is she? But know? oh yeah, she's like like fifty already. Mm -hmm. But yeah, bro, she um. Ever since I was a kid, like, <laughs> it's a funny story. I was a kid. When I was a kid in Honduras and I was with my aunt, you know, my my mom, my grandparents were, like, already in the U.S. And my mom and my dad and my aunt were, like, take, you know, she was living around the house. We were taking care of her. So I was, like, what, three years old in Honduras? And there was a point in time my mom said that I didn't even want to talk because I was, like, with my tia so much. Oh, like, damn. I was turning into a mudo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, they'll yeah. ask me if something, like, and I'll just, like, do the little sign language to them. And I'll be like, mm, mm. And they were like, nah, 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 chill, chill. Like, Get you out but I was a kid. I was learning from, you know, yeah. like, being around my aunt all the time and everything. Have you guys ever had a friend who was, like, a mudo? Like, he didn't really, like, he talked, but he just, he was, yeah, he just didn't Yeah, in talk. elementary school, there were, I forgot his name, but there was some kid that he didn't talk. 
But he he was able to talk, but he just didn't he talk. just didn't like to talk. He just like he's like oh, he just pointed and like yeah, like yeah, no, like you know, yeah. And until one time he they got on mad in, in class. He says that it, it was fucked up. <laughs> oh, he did, huh? he did, he did. Nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but uh, they got him mad in class, and then he's like, "You guys need to shut the fuck up." <laughs> oh, and I was like, "Oh damn!" And damn. everyone was like, they was scared of him. Yeah. He was a big dude. Shut the fuck up. Hey, bro, they're like the coolest people. Yeah, he was like, so, he was like, so dope. It's just yeah. if you actually get to know them, they're really cool. I told a guy to shut the yeah. fuck up in the middle of class, too. You, you what? I told a guy to shut the fuck up in the middle of Spanish class. I, I've, I've done that before, but like in uh, middle school. Mm. I, told, I told some dude, I told some uh, in class, there was these kids uh, that kept talking. It was my favorite teacher, too. It was mm-hmm. the art, remember the art teacher? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What was her name? For guy, but anyway, there were some kids talking, and uh, they kept just fucking like just making fun of the teacher, and I was annoyed, and I was like, "Bro, you guys need to shut the fuck up, or I let her talk." And they try to get like crazy with me. I was yeah. in it for the hoes. Yeah, I did. I, I did it. It was cool when you stand up for the teacher because yeah. the teacher's just like, "Damn, I've been waiting for someone just like yeah. stand up, like because they can't do it. The teachers can't do it. It's not professional." Yeah. But if a kid tells him another kid, hey, yo, shut the fuck up, that's what the kid, that's what the teacher's like, oh my God, thank you. Yeah. That's what happened to me. She told me, she's like, hey, thank you. Like, th- those guys were annoying. And I was like, so, so what are you doing after That was class? in college though? Nah, this was, uh, I think my sophomore year in uh, high school. Did you ever have a crush on your teacher? Oh, I did, uh, bro. Miss Flores, remember Miss Flores? The computer, uh. Chill. I don't give a fuck, bro. That's uh, that's that's one of the old homegirls' um aunt. Her right. aunt was a teacher, bro. What's so, up with hey, the teachers so now? Days, was, bro. Hey, the I'm teachers nowadays are so hot. Aunts, yeah, she was. She was really bro. Nah, she, so she was a beautiful lady. <sighs> that, no, yeah, it's it's um. Everybody at school was in love with her. Every guy, like, bro, I had her for a class, and I remember one time, uh, it was during KC test, right? <laughs> we yeah. uh, I didn't finish in time. And then they're like, oh, you want to go to a, go, ne- go next door? But it was, they're talking about the other side. And I was like, fuck, no, I'm going to go to Miss Flores class. And I knocked on her door. said, hey, what happened? And I'm like, oh, I, I got sent here to do my, finish the test. Like, okay, you can just stand in the corner, sit in the corner. And I was there and I, I took my time on that shit. And then once she like, class was over, she's like, hey, like, do you have any questions? Blah, blah, blah. Like, I'm going to be right here. Like, you know, you can ask me. And I was like, all right. But like, ha, ah, bro, she was fine, bro. Yeah, she was really beautiful. I, I remember Where's when, she now? What's like, all my I homies were, I don't even, did she think she's still working? Well, she was young. She was young. She was, honestly, she was probably like in her 20s, in her early, in her mid-20s. No, she was, yeah, okay. Mid-20s, yeah. maybe like 28, like my age yeah. right now. Fuck. It's funny because back in the day, yeah. like, all the homies would tell the, you know, the homegirl, um, like, hey, you're on? Fuck. Like, like you know, like, bunch of shit. Who's, who's I remember it? when, when, um. I remember the time she got pregnant. Everybody in class, when she like told her, you know, teachers yeah, like to yeah, share, yeah. like, "Hey guys, I'm pregnant." Uh, yeah, I'm a pregnant. I'm a pregnant. Uh, Bro, all my homies are like, "Fuck, <laughs> fuck." Oh, it's supposed to be me. We're all heartbroken. Like, damn, she got pregnant. Yeah, fuck I remember. I didn't want to talk to her for like a week. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. She got pregnant on us. You cheated on. Uh, I had a, I had a homie that always said, "For watch who after I graduate, watch who I'm gonna take her out." And I'm like, "Bitch, she has a husband. I don't give a fuck." I've always have I. Nah. You never had a crush on the teacher? Never really had hot teachers like that, bro. I think teachers there's now... a bunch of white teachers. Huh? There's a lot of girls who are like young who are yeah, coming into teachers. being teachers. There's probably some Have you seen that TikTok teachers. teacher? Yeah. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. You, know you guys ever had a racist teacher? She's the cheese box? Fuck yeah. Like, like you're just like, I know you fucking... Yeah, Ms. Zero. I was talking about like or three episodes Zero. ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That um, middle school teacher with the pig? Damn. I had a teacher who made fun... Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. I had a teacher damn. that just thought I didn't have a dad. I was like, you racist fuck. I had a teacher who uh, laughed at me <laughs> for my accent. Damn. That's fucked up. Yeah, I remember it was fourth grade. What's her name? Uh, her What's name was... Um, uh, fuck, 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 fuck. What was her name? I don't remember her name. But I remember exactly where I was at. We we're talking about the, um, the Mojave Desert, right? And... Um, she asked a question, and I was like, "Oh, the Mojave, the Mojave Desert." I said, "Oh, Mo- oh, yeah, yeah, you did tell us that yeah, story." I said, "The Mojave Desert." She and called she, you a beaner, and she just no, she didn't call me a beaner, but she just <laughs> busted out laughing. She was like, <laughs> "Like crazy in my face," and then the yeah. whole class started laughing because she was laughing, and oh. then she was like, "Oh my god, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry." I know, 
Uh, she said, I forgot she said, it's. I know you're Mexican or some shit like that. <laughs> no, nah, she didn't say yeah, that. Yeah, she That's crazy. Like that. That's why she called him I a thought female. she was just going to make fun of you because like the way you said it. But she said, because I know you're Mexican. Yeah, yeah. she's like, it's not because you're Mexican or something like that. I know your accent. Something like that. Come on, Mexican. That's you don't know your Nepalese? I would have been like, shut up, you fucking cracker. I didn't. I, I was, yeah, I was outnumbered back then. I was, there's only like three Mexicans in that school. And you think Damn. teachers now, like, they have BBLs, their body does it. Yeah. Shit, like, they're bad bitches. Yeah. For, think about, like, when teachers were coming up back then, that were still, like, our parents' age. Yeah. So that generation was, like, more traditional whatever yeah, yeah and then now you got you got girls who are like from this generation with yeah. bbls their lips done yeah, plastic B- surgery Bro. so it's like these little kids are having fun hey, it's yeah. a good time it's a good time to i don't think i don't know why don't guys aren't thinking about this guys should become teachers like there's really not that many guy teachers but imagine all the girl other fucking teachers you'd be hey, piping yo, in the okay, fucking okay, teacher okay. purpose room damn imagine a teacher having a bbl like that and she's wearing a sundress and you're like in 11th grade and you're just like you're full of hormones. You're like, fuck. Oh and that's God. just jiggling when she turns. She's like, she bends over. And you're like, she bends over to help the kid next to you in the desk. She's walking across the fucking to to get to the whiteboard, and she's just. Hey, you ever had a? Yeah. <laughs> oh, chill, chill. You're getting horny. Chill. She's trying to she's trying to erase the the markers at the top, and she's like bouncing a little bit. <laughs> like recoil she, just, tell, <laughs> she tells you to stay after class Just to talk about shit But you're like Fuck. Hey Bro. hey guys hey, I'll see y'all later I'm Bro I don't know about you guys But that, I don't know Like me When I was a kid When I was in uh, uh, High school I was always like Damn one of these days Like my teacher's gonna tell me To stay after class And she's gonna wanna fuck <laughs> Did you guys ever think that? Like, how oh, this was horny as fuck Hell yeah bro When I was in <laughs> When I was in middle I mean high school well, I always thought about it, bro. I thought about like, oh my god, like fucking other students, like when we we're in detention together. But that's I, not te- yeah, I didn't have attractive teachers. I, I uh, just that yeah, teacher. I think I think uh, I think our high school did have a lot. We we're kind of like, oh shit. You know, one teacher too. I don't want to say her name, but she, I found her kind of like pretty. She was a. Uh, I'm gonna probably cut this part out. But her name was Miss Masters. Miss Masters. Oh. Damn, she was huh? pretty, bro. She was bring out the yearbook. She had a husband, right? That worked there. No, no, that was her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that was the homie. You talking about the homie's wife? That's crazy. We had one teacher in my yeah. uh, in my school that transitioned. Donald. Wait, weird. what? Oh no, no. He was. We had one teacher who was gay, and freshman year he he had one name. Sophomore year he had a new name. It was weird. Damn, that early on. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> But it was so new at that time. That's what I'm saying. That early on. Yeah, at the time, this was like 2012. So that was kind of all new. Like it wasn't as wasn't as like common back then. Mm. And it just all caught us off. But we're like, what the fuck's going on? Mm. I remember it was like this one. It was like this long name, and then his last name changed to like a shorter name. And we're like, what? What? What's going on here? Bro, I have some teacher. I forgot his name. He was a cheerleader at at Dallas. Really? Yeah, in Dallas for like uh, Dallas Cowboys. I think so. That's damn. Yeah, yeah. That's cool. Made it. Yeah, and then he turned into a, a teacher out here. Rex, I don't know if you remember this teacher. He was some some white guy, bald white guy with glasses. He was in the D buildings. I know what you're talking about. Ray, he looked racist to me. He was always he oh, he, he hated he hated every Mexican and black guy. Bro, I remember I had mm. a homie in in high school in that class. What was his name? It was, it was slow. Huh? I don't know, but like this fool, like he hated me and him, bro, and we wouldn't even talk. Like, yeah, we would laugh at jokes, but like. Okay, sometimes we would like fuck around, right? But like, like this fool hated us, bro. Like us two out of everybody, like the black guy and the Mexican, right? Yeah. But uh, this fool, I remember one time, I never, I never forget. He told me, "Yeah, you're not, you're not gonna, you're not gonna be shit after after high school. Like you're gonna fucking just work warehouses your whole life." And he mm. told me that fool because I had to stay after his class, me and like three other kids. And he said that he said, "You're not gonna be shit after high school. He's like you're gonna have to work warehouses your whole fucking life, like that, word by word." Damn. And I was like, "Damn." For sure. Look at me now, bitch. I have a podcast. What's up, bitch? <laughs> well, I have one teacher. You told me that shit. If you go back to a warehouse, I'm going to I'm gonna I'm gonna go back. You. I'm going to go back. I'm going to hit him up. <laughs> I had one teacher who, uh, he was like crazy Republican and he didn't give a fuck about pronouns. And I remember this was sophomore year. And um, there's this one, um, her bio, she was, uh, she was a girl who identified as a guy. So she told everybody what her name was like, what, what grade was this this was my sophomore year high school what the fuck yeah so she was uh she identified as a guy and um the teacher 
he didn't give a fuck. He was calling because on like the like her transcript or whatever, it was her bi- a biological name, which is like the girl name, but she was going off a different name. And he's like, I'm not going to call her that. That's not her name. He's and then like uh, every time the pronouns, we would be like, um, yeah, go help her. Yeah, she needs help. Like always like and it, like we like this was all new to us, but like she was well, he was a really cool ass dude. Right. And we're just like, uh, like he was just being so disrespectful on purpose to her. And it was just like, dog, like you're fucking weird. And then he ended up getting fired. The teacher. Yeah. And he made a big fuss about it. Like I remember like because the principal came. And then we were all kind of hearing, and he's like, I'm gonna call her by what she was born at. And I was like, oh shit, the fucking security came and shit. It was weird. Damn. He's like, you fired me for this? That's like, crazy how it started how- so early on. Well, you're kind of younger than me, too. I'm all Republican. The Republicans. It's just crazy. It's man. Trump for you. She was ahead of her time. It's crazy. She was, ahead. She was a pioneer. Sorry, he. I fucked up for her. It's fucked up. So she got a, she went to the, she went to the boys' bathroom. He. He went to the boys' bathroom to use it. And she got like fucked up by some other guy in there. It's fucked up. But uh, yeah, so that happened. Felt bad for her. She ended up transferring or him. Hey. I think that, ah, fuck. I was watching this uh, fucking clip on, on TikTok with some fucking, I forgot who their podcasters were. But they asked this lady how she feels about them pushing that down their kids in elementary school, middle school. Mm-hmm. And the, the lady's like, I have not, I have nothing wrong. I have nothing against that, uh, the you know transgenders or bisexuals or gays or whatever. Yeah. He's like, but the fact that they're trying to push it down little kids' brains to implant it is like it's not wrong. Like it's wrong. Like if they want to be gay, then they can be gay. If they want to choose that route, it's fine. But the fact that they're like putting it down, like, ah, you know, she's like, that's wrong. <laughs> <sighs> No, that's true. My cousin, true, I asked, I, I, we we had a big debate with me and my girl. Mm. And my cousin straight up said, like, nah, you're wrong. Like, that's, that's, because my girl said it was okay. My cousin was like, nah, like, nah. that's not okay. And I'm gay. My cousin's like, I'm gay as fuck. Like, that's yeah. not even okay with me. No. Nah. And then she kind of just like, oh, you know what? Like, she kind of changed her mind. But I think let, me, let me ask you a question. Let me guys ask you a question. Uh-huh. Like, I know you guys are okay with it, but out of all the homies, which one, if they turn out gay, which which out of all the homies, which one would like not surprise you? Come on, Caesar. <laughs> <laughs> why you? Why? You, why you what if it was Carlos? Like, what if Carlos turned out gay? Who, probably, who's the, who's who would be the dark horse? Who would be the dark horse that no one ever saw it coming? But you're like, oh, okay, yeah, I kind of see it. Uh, for me, it would be Saul. <laughs> like, if Saul ends up like you know over the rainbow, for I'll be sure. like. I'll be like, damn. Uh, yeah. I'm like, this whole time when Hans grabbed his junk, he actually like never it. grabbed my junk. No, he he hung on things. Hung, hung. I ain't with that. I ain't with it. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I think you can't say that. Just say like I think if touch. it was like Carlos, I'd be like, damn. What the fuck? That's what? a big ass. I'll be kid. like, what the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? No, we can't talk about Carlos. No, we can't talk about Carlos. Oh, yeah, we can't. Sorry, we can't talk about Carlos. Sorry, Carlos. Sorry, sorry, sorry. We always talk about him. Yeah, we always talk. That's only Yeah, let's not play. Yeah, you're getting free clout. You're getting free clout. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Fool, we made him. We made who he is. Bro, people have gone up to him and say, hey, are you Carlos? How are you going to take that as like... He's too cool. He's too cool. He's too cool now. We're cutting him off as a character. Bro, we had someone on on Instagram, right? We went on Instagram live and she knew his whole life. Yeah. She's like, I'm so proud of him. Shout out to her. Shout out to her. What's her name? I forgot, I forgot and I bet you Carl was like, "What the fuck? What the fuck? Yeah, you know yeah. Me? What the fuck? And, but why why does she know me? Like, what the fuck Carlos? do I know her?" And I'm like, "Carlos, Carlos's dream was to be David Dobrik." <laughs> <laughs> that one got me on. Don't fuck. Dig me but she was like, "I'm so happy for him." Yeah, you know. And I'm like, "Bro, she's giving you props. Like, what's what's wrong? Like, what the fuck? No, what the fuck, what the fuck? Like, I don't want people to talk about me." Hey. So you're gonna you need to stop. And I'm like, yeah, yeah. That's your fault, huh? Now nah, fuck you. I always what did you, what did you tell me the other day? Mind your business. I'm gonna start minding my business. Yeah, I'm start minding my business. I'm not gonna too. say shit anymore. Yeah, yeah. I told like it's their lives. Uh, uh, hey, hey. What else is going on? What's up with P Diddy? What's up with that shit? They diddler. P diddler. The P diddler. They saw supposedly they caught him. That's not him. They caught him. Nah. They Th- that him? is not. Yeah. They arrested a man. Look, I'll show you. They arrested already? Yeah, when but it's this? not him. When did this I come promise out? you. Look, 
Oh, I saw it on TikTok. This is fake. It's know. fake, Hans. You're a TikToker. I am a no. I'm a TikTok. Uh, let me see. Let me try to look for it, boys. Hold on, give me one Boy. second. Boy, wobble dee, wobble dee, wobble, wobble, wobble. Stat, stack. I'm just kind of flabbergasted right now. Flabbergasted. That looks like a lizard. You cannot tell me that that really is fake. His forehead is extra big. His eyes look like lizard eyes. Like. Look at the other picture and stop it because, dude, I literally, that's the first thing I thought. That is not. Here, pause it. That is not. Did I know what? why. What? So, celebrities, they have a shitload of money so and they have fucking makeup artists with them. Like, people like that, they have, they, like, for example, look at celebrities and compare them to now when they're in jail. They look completely different because they have no one doing, like, their, their lifts for them. Like, right now, Diddy doesn't give a fuck about. His fucking routines, his his skincare routines, his hair routines. He doesn't give a fuck about his fucking injections and stuff because right now he's like on basically on the run. So that's why when people get caught, they look different because they don't give a fuck about doing their routines to make them look presentable towards the cameras. Because as a celebrity and you're going out and you're getting seen every day, your part of your thing is getting ready and looking like the celebrity. Mm. But um, since you're on the run now, they don't they really don't give a fuck and they just let themselves go. And that's why they look different. I, that's also that that could be true. But I just the, the the rest of the video, like she's like, what the fuck happened to his to his uh, birthmarks, like his mm -hmm. moles? Because he has like two or three or whatever. Mm -hmm. And then like, what the fuck? Like, where are they? It's weird. So I don't know, unless he fucking draws on draws yeah. on every day type mm -hmm. shit type shit. Like Tory Lanez, have you seen how Tory Lanez looks now? No. In jail, mm -hmm. it's got a big ass like afro and shit. It looks so different. You guys scared to go to jail? Nah. Hmm. Depends what I'm going in for. Robbery. I feel, I feel like I make friends. I start a podcast in jail. I probably teach a class in jail. I'd do that probably. Because you know how you can have like different jobs in jail? Mm -hmm. I'd probably be like a... I, I'd have a trait. I think to survive in jail, you have to have some type of trait. I think if I were to get arrested, I'd get arrested somewhere out there like in... I think in like France or Switzerland, they have like nice ass jails. Yeah. So I'd get arrested over there. Hans is bougie. Nice Hell yeah. I heard a lot of celebrities like getting arrested because they finally get to arrest. Hey, arrest. It, arrest. Arrest. What it's, do you a, got? it's a rest. You guys think you guys would get flipped in jail? Nah, I think before... If I knew I was going to jail, I'd shave my head bald, like skin fucking bald and then she let my beard grow so I won't look even cute yeah I'll it don't just, matter just it's still gonna get you <laughs> I'll shit myself every day I won't clean yeah I'll be a farter yeah. I'll be farting a lot I won't even shower I'll be smelly yeah come here sale it's just crazy <laughs> nah it's a good cause like, you're gonna be with the essays fool. yeah I'll be, the with the essays. Essays. I'll be with the essays essays I feel like you're in between you nah, know? I'm gonna be with the white skinheads. <laughs> nah, they won't accept you. It don't matter. I'm still. In you're there. either gonna to them. You're gonna either be black or like, or like a sal uh, salva matrucha or some shit. Yeah, I'll, I'll probably be mad at salva matrucha. They'll probably accept you. You guys, you guys know the the. Yes, we know that. Yes, you know how to do it. I'm not gonna do it. My bad, bro. I'm trying to get killed out here or what? by the president. In these streets. In these streets. Oh yeah, the president's gonna come after you, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't be you can't don't be afraid of the gang anymore. Be afraid oh. of the president. Yeah. He he gets a it's a Rico. If there's a, a scent of a Rico on you, you're in jail. Damn. You think it's like fair what they're doing to the inmates? Hell yeah! What the fuck? Yeah. They deserve it. Yeah, because yeah, I, I, I saw a lot of controversy on Bond. Like, oh, they don't, hope, they don't deserve them. Like, I think they I don't do. Give a fuck, and and I all hope. the people that are talking shit are the people out here that don't know what's going on. In that country. yeah. Also, let's talk about Mazatlan. How they tried banning uh, Banda on the beach, right? On the beach. That's so fucking for these white people, bro. These fucking, uh, these gentrifiers. These bro, where are the narcos at? I'm sorry. That, I shouldn't say that. But like, where are they? Like, stop. Oh, no, they're there. They're there. Stop that shit. Like, why are they allowing that? Like, I mean, but they don't want to be in the public eye. Yeah, well, they're, they're there, Hans. They're there. They're there. They are there. We have any, like, you know, stop bro, it, they're Bro, they're really protesting and they play banda all fucking day. And yeah. shout out to them, bro. Shout the out hotel, to them. The hotel, I guess, is a white owner from the U.S. that owns that part. And that's why the narcos can't step in a hotel. But if you know, that's why they make their own decisions. So it's mostly retired old people that go to the hotel to listen to their own music. Yeah. There's a video of some white guy playing I saw that. electronic, electric guitar in the in behind the hotel. 
And I was just going crazy. And we're like, bro, it's it's like going to fucking Tennessee and saying you don't like country music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What the fuck? What is that? That's so crazy. Actually, it, it fucking ups. It's kind of like the same thing as going with Puerto Rico. Yeah. Bro, yeah. Like, it, that shit fucking frustrates me so much. How are you going to go to a different country? And get mad at the music. Yeah, motherfucker, then go country. go to your fucking country. Yeah. Like, don't fucking come over here and They're try to start entitled shit. entitled ass white yeah. motherfuckers. But I'm going to Masa, guys, tomorrow when you guys see this video. You leaving I'm, Wednesday? I'm, I'm leaving Wednesday mornings. I'm a I'm a fucking be right there throwing the beer on the on the on the drum. Bam, 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 bam. I'm a, that shit's lit, bro. I'm gonna tell him to play first at Regida all that's day. That's gonna be free Junior music Hache. all day. Bam, 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 bam. That's that's right now. That's what I like. Like I'm. I'm Have you seen be, how I'm packed be, it is? This was told me like, hey, for real, we're gonna make you hella Mexican when you come back. Like, trust, you're gonna change your last name to Sanchez. <laughs> and I was like, fuck. Okay. Have you seen the? Have you seen how packed it is right now? It's super packed, especially with the news. People are like, "Fuck that! Let's go to Masa. Let's get fucked up." It's crazy, yeah. God. So tomorrow I'm experience that. Tomorrow I'm experience that shit. What I'm happens? Excited. Sorry. What happens in like situations like that? Like, because I'm pretty sure the hotel owner is gonna call the cops. But what do the cops do? They don't give a fuck. No, they, they don't, don't give a, a fuck, fuck. Right? The fuck? No. Hell yeah. You fuck. pay everybody out. It's just they're gonna get what they're gonna get. Yeah, I hope they so, I hope they get kicked the fuck out tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow I'm gonna pay the banda, and I'm just gonna be right there chilling. Like, fuck it, I'm learning that music. You think those white people there have like the the du the dual citizenship? Mm -hmm. What the, the white people there? Nah, because because uh, isn't the president gonna do that? Like if you don't have the that's, citizenship there, they're gonna not allow that's you. That's next year. What? I heard like if oh, fuck, I gotta explain it. Like if uh, the president of Mexico, I don't know if this is true or false, but. I heard that the president of Mexico is going to do the, they're going to close their borders to people who are not like um, uh, Mexican citizens. Mm, I doubt it. I don't, I, I don't think it's tourism. Mexico has a lot of tourist money mm. they need. That's so I, I doubt it. It's just crazy. But that, that shit was just, that shit's funny though. It's just funny. It's just that's fucked up. Cause Masa is more like the, the capital of Banda, right? Yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. It's the center. It's like, it's, it's like you're going to, Please eat, like, get some ostiones and some banda, bro. Ostiones are oysters, right? Yeah, yeah. And a pacifico. Pff, send me a uh, video of that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that. Fuck. What should I expect? Like, what should I get? Because, yeah, we're going to get seafood, but what? what what's something get I should try? Get Oh, my sarandeado? God. This is what you're going to do. You're going to go to the beach yeah, where we, they have, like, a restaurant by the beach or something. Uh, uh -huh. Order a, a sarandeado. Have you ever had a sarandeado? It, that's the pescado, yeah, right? Yeah, it's a big-ass yeah. pescado. Uh-huh. Get a big ass pescado. You're making me hungry. Ah, uh, yeah. And then uh -huh, get uh -huh. some ostiones and a pacifico. Ooh. You put like, you put all the stuff in the ostiones, the, the pepinos, the salsa Chile huichol. Ooh, the salsa negra, no? Salsa negra too. Yeah. And just... <sighs> ah. Can't wait for the summer. Where y'all we going? I know. I know. So, but I'm going to vlog it for you guys so you guys can see. You didn't vlog Hawaii. What was up? What's up with the Hawaii? No, vlog? I have it. What's I have up? it. What's up? Where is that? I don't I have see, the I video. seen it. For sure, that's crazy. I'm gonna vlog that shit, so I'm gonna be like, look, like, sorry, like, huh, you little beaners, like, <laughs> I'm in your town. Well, try little micheladas out there, how they make it. How should I talk over there? Oh, well, Mazatlan, it's Sinaloa. So. Like, I want to order a Pacifico. Like, ¿Qué ole, muchacho? ¿Qué ole? ¿Qué ole, primo? Hey, un, un saludo para toda mi compa de Fontana, California. Vámonos. Vámonos. <laughs> Carlos said that he's going to pay the banda to put the, 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 the what is it, the trump? You know how Sinaloa, Sinaloenses. What, what is it called? The trumpet? The, the tuba? The, the tuba on my head. Yeah. You know, how, you know how they hold the beer over there? Yeah. They, they do it like this and they stand like this. Like, my seesaw like this. Like <laughs> Why is it so close? I don't know. I've seen that shit before. <laughs> I have some homies that are from Sinaloa. Oh, the iPad came out. iPad came out. Nope. iPad came out. Oh, yeah. Hey. How, how long has it been? 143. Oh, damn. Oh, sure. We got to do a Patreon because we didn't do a Patreon yeah, last yeah, week. Yeah, for sure. For sure. For sure. I'm getting lazy. Who's late? That was your fault. We didn't do it. Why? It was your fault. That was my fault. Your fault. I said stay. I, you guys need me to hold your hand every time. Yeah, yeah that's, but you want to go like drink and they're pouring bottles down your throat. Hey, so, uh, hey. <laughs> and hey. he, he pretended like he didn't like it. No, 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 no. All right, all right, all right. I'm here. I'm working right now. Uh, hey. and, and, and then he's like, poor. He's like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> he looked around. If any girl saw yeah, me, yeah, oh. yeah. Like, you right here. Shit. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, you, damn, that. you came well, well good today, huh? Where's your husband? <laughs> that shit was that shit was so, cool. How was it? How was it? How, you didn't even talk about it. Yeah, how was didn't. it? What experience you had? I feel like you got the works. Talking about on Patreon. I ain't talking about it here. Oh. Ask you? Ask you, right, you here? right here? A nice grip, huh? How to, <sighs> I'm going to tell you right now, I took like six, seven shots that day. Down the throat? Down the throat. As a grown man? Having a, some some girl pour it down it. That's crazy. Yeah. All right, well... Uh, you need to stop with the yawn. <laughs> we're going to talk about that on Patreon. Yawn. Yawn. If you guys don't know what Patreon is, it's another website where we upload more content. So if you love our content, check us on Patreon. Yeah. And whoever fucking rat, whoever's a rat, fuck Oh you. my God. We got fuck rats. You. Oh, rat, oh, fuck you. God. He told you? Yeah. He told I you. didn't tell you. Oh. You oh. did. You did. You said it last time, but you didn't fully explain it. But still, fuck you. Whoever's oh yeah, a rat, it's on the whole thing, but yeah. we, so have a, we have some rats. We have some rats on yeah, Patreon. Some my dick. Fuck you. Some my dick from the back. Y'all making it bad for everybody now. Yeah, you suck. You're whack, bro. Yeah, let's talk shit. We're going to talk shit. Ooh, we should talk shit on Patreon. Yeah. We got some rats. So you can see. Yeah, so you can see that We shit. got one rat. We have one confirmed rat? One yeah. confirmed one. And I'll tell you, I'll tell you you're not nice. I haven't told you. You know who it is? No. Oh. Uh, Oh, at, uh, but yeah, there's a confirmed rat what the fuck? on Patreon. Yeah, what the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> but let's read off the Patreon members. I hope none of these these are booty callers. All right, guys. I, uh, I doubt a rat will be a booty caller. It's probably a five dollar tier. That's why I'm like, maybe we just gotta get rid of the five dollar tier, just because of the rats. Bro, yeah. Just, so if you guys are upset, go blame whoever that person was that fucking ruined, ruined it for it. everybody. Yeah. All right. So okay, um, guys. You guys ready? You guys want to read it out quick? Here we go. Ready? Uh, are you ready, Hans? Cause he's gonna say the name quick, and then you, and then we gotta be like, bro, no, no, no. Why have a stopwatch on? Because I want to know how long, how long, how fast we do it. Okay, ready, you ready, Hans? Ready, set, go. Angel Cruz. Angel Cruz, shout out to you. That's, That's the you. best. That's the fucking best. That's the best. Artemio Carrillo. Ar- Artemio, shout out to you. Shout out, little shout one. Little one. Little one. Oh, that's it. Oh, shit. Well, shout go. out to you. Shout out to you. Joel Oriana. Oriana. Jo- shout out to you. Joel, hey. Joel. Carla Corazon. Carla Corazon. You got to go fast. Carla Andy, Corazon. No love. Andy, no love. You get no bitches. Andy, no love. Steffi Guevara. You got it. You were so, so, so. Stephanie Guevara. Valerie Garcia. You got to see no one. Hey, let's Evelyn go. Martinon. 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 Jessica Flores. Flores. Hey, so was crushed. Your favorite margarita. Margarita. I love margarita. Robert to Hoochie. Tu, you're Hoochie. Adan Alvarado. That's my middle name. Shout out to you, bro. Juan, tree jumping, pupusa lover, Stani Slau. Yeah, shout out to all set up. This shout out, shout out. Last one he knows, vamos. Hey, shout out to you guys, SB. Shout already out. Know. Alexia Tovar. Tovar. Huh? Tovar. They know Yair. Hey, oh, we know her? What? Razor, Ramon, Hedges, Flores. Hey, put on the gloves, bro. Come to the <laughs> eye. Jonathan. 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 Washed up FC. Hey. Washed up. Kike y la novia Perez. Kike with the big dick. Holy Sandra shit. Gonzalez. Gonzalez, shout out to you. So, Karen Sita. So. Ua. Georgina Nunez. 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 Oscar Martinez. Martino. Martinez. Oh, yeah, Martin. Breezy, Huera, Loquita. Breezy, Huera. Crazy ass. Up? And She's the smartphone those. tier man of the Patreon, Alvaro Benitez. Shout out to you, shout out to you. you. And that wraps up Patreon. How A minute and 26 seconds. Oh, oh cool. That was, that was fast. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe. Follow me on every social media platform. That's Saul V. Gomez. Follow me on Rex B. You already knows. Hey, yo, Salvo, Alec. I mean, Carlos. What the fuck? Why you say Alec? Carlos, send me, a, yo, send me a game. Mom, you really love me, bro. Like, you're the homie. Like, come on, bro. Like, I love yo, Salvo, you know? Yeah, you already know. I want to put my mom on, but I haven't yet. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Shout out to my mom. Shout out to my dad living in the high desert. She's raining Still crazy. Still repping the IE. I want to give a shout out to my sister. She she never watches me. She's whack as fuck. Shout out to my nephew. He didn't even know I'm a YouTuber. <laughs> but one day he's going to know, you know? Yeah, one day. Your nephew, know, the one that knows that I'm a YouTuber? Yeah, he's a fan of Sao, but he's not a fan of me. That was whack. That's crazy. Um, shout him. out to my brother. Uh, shout out to my mom, my dad for putting it down, you know, for, for uh, being a good family. Yeah. Shout yeah. out to the homies. Uh, Carlos? You can follow me on Instagram, Hans underscore Esquivel. Uh, yeah. Yep, cute. Cute. You don't want to shout out Raul? Uh, I guess. <laughs> Ew. Oh, what the Ew. Way? Ew. No way. I Come. guess, whatever. No, shout no. out to uh, Saul's cousin out there. Quax. Joax. Shout out to Raul. I miss shout him. Shout out to Joaquin. Shout out to Joaquin. Man. Shout out to Joaquin. Wait, I'm telling you, I'm going to to pull up to, I'm pull up on you guys. Mazatlan, how far is Mazatlan from Nayari? It's two. Yeah, like two, two hours. Two hours. Uh, three? Yeah. All right, but we'll see you guys next week. Bye. 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 Bye.